This is a new Revo Beast from Abu Garcia. It has a unique body designed only for this new wheel. It's bigger than a normal Revo but smaller than a Revo Toro. And it's designed for pike fishing and species similar like this. We have 14 kilograms of braking power with our new power stack braking system, eight ball bearings, big EV aims, another handle that comes with this reel. And so it's perfect for fishing with big baits, jerk baits. So look for the new Revo Beast from Abu Garcia. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Live at the show again. Last day, Predator Tour, day three. Um, some information uh, for the participants. We will start like uh, we started yesterday and the day before at uh, 0800. And the game will end at 1600, 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, then you have one hour time to uh, send us pictures in case if the app doesn't work. Uh, or didn't work, that, yeah. Yeah, but you have one hour and at 1700 hour, 5 o'clock in the afternoon, uh, then we uh, close the leaderboard and then we know who is the winner of the Alternative Predator Tour 2020. Uh, around uh, five o'clock, we do the prize giving, and yeah. uh, of course, everybody knows it's for eternal fame and so on. But we will uh, mention uh, the top five anyhow. Uh, my request is that uh, the top five uh, come in the show with with the link everybody has, so we can interview the winning teams uh, live at the show if possible. Uh, speaking about uh, winning, uh, we made a selection of the most active teams yesterday on social uh, media. And we choose uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven teams who will get the unique uh, buff. Uh, and, and why is that? Because they were helping us out with live streams and uh, movies and so on. Uh, the lucky winners of day two uh, buffs, the unique ones, limited edition 2020 Predator Tour, not for sale in stores and so on. Uh, it's won by team 15, Harry and Bas. Team 56, Robin and Milan. Team 90, Martin and Christian. Team 76, Lucas and Adam. Uh, team 86, Tom and Ruud. Team 35, Joris and Johan. And last but not least, Team 26, Daniel and Lee. We will send you by post the unique 2020 buff limited edition. Uh, we got some footage in from our participants. It was uh, homemade footage. We will bring it in the broadcast and I will come back for more information after that one. So uh, stay tuned, watch some action from the participants from yesterday. And uh, after that I will be back in the show. Hello Predator Tour. Day second, returning long distance run back to Riga, Latvia. Much, much harder day than yesterday. <laughs> yesterday was just yeah. perfect. Uh, yesterday's glory hall we left two uh, other team from Latvia and they probably found something there but we chosen lake which was our personal best for pikes this year and unfortunately uh, we couldn't find those pikes which we released some time ago yeah the fish is what was very very slow and uh, not active as as usually that's why we are now thinking about the new strategy. Uh, and we new will, water tomorrow. We will change the water. It will be, I think, the river. Yes, tomorrow will be the river day. So, good luck to everyone. Uh, let's compete. Yeah. It's fun. And it's joy. 
and best, best to win. And we will try to do all what we can to be the first. Yeah. So, good luck everyone. Na Zebrzyńskim Lake Piotrulą nam się udało tak na 90 przejść i wraca do tego Tak jest Road. <laughs> I saw it. It's a big pike and but no. <laughs> but a beautiful catch. Nice one. And welcome back to the studio. Um, after I'm done here, I will send all the participants the unique new QR code for the last day. Uh, in the email is also our uh, organization number. Uh, call us if you don't receive it. We can send it by WhatsApp if your email doesn't uh, come through. Well, for me, I will say to all participants, uh, please come into the air, even if it's for 10 seconds, say hi and hello, and try to uh, show us some action uh, about the fishing arena. Uh, for the last day, good luck. Uh, don't get any accidents on the water, and uh, I hope I see you guys soon at the studio. Uh, Wim will take over from me now. I will send out the unique QR code and at 8 o'clock uh, all participants can start after we blow the horn. So stay tuned and wait for our whistle. Good morning all. Five minutes before start of the last day of the Predator 220. In my personal account I already said I really enjoy being here. The last two days have been really a blast. It's fun, it's tiring because you're really on top of things and I see someone is calling and that would be nice just before the start, before the start of the tour. Guest in the green room. Morgan, good morning. Hi. How are you? Hi, Morgan. Yeah, no, we are still in a warm car. Because we are a little bit late today, so we had a long way to the water today. 
Yeah. And uh, so that means we will start fishing as maybe half an hour later today. But uh, yeah, we choose uh, a special pike water. Uh huh. And hopefully we get the, the last pike for the full cart. Uh, but it's really confident what you do. You're really confident about yourself. Just start later and catch a lot of pike. Yeah. Yeah, cool. What's your, stra what's your strategy today? Where are, you uh, are you going to a really different water than yesterday? No, no, no. Uh, today we go to uh, the special um, pike water, the Randmeeren. And mm -hmm. uh, cause in, uh, in the last year I caught a lot of pike there. Um, so for us it was the best chance to get the, the full card. So that's okay. the most important thing. If we get the full card and, and we have still some time. It's not a good water for, for Zander. If you catch a Zander there, you will have a really good one, but it's very difficult. Ah, yeah, not so much. But there are also, yeah, there are not so much, but there are really, really nice perch also there. So maybe we can make some upgrades, but yeah. The first important thing is to make the full card to get the thousand extra yeah. points. Yeah, and enjoy today, enjoy today. Hope the weather stays as good as it is now over there. It looks quite bright on your side. Yeah, in the moment it uh, looks really, really good, but the forecast is uh, a little bit better, <laughs> a little bit more bad, so it's worse. It's uh, up to up to 40 uh, before uh, with the wind, and they also say there should be some rain coming, um, and there are still some chance to get the uh, wind uh, up to six before. Mm -hmm. So that be can become a really rough day for us today, a really wet day, but uh, yeah. What should we do? We need the pike. Okay, so <laughs> no if, if you are in the 6x4, send us some footage. We want to see that. It was really cool. All right. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. You're yeah. late for the start. We're starting in two minutes now. I'll go back to yeah. the uh, uh, leaderboard. Enjoy and good luck. Good day, folks. Yeah. Uh, cheers. Have a good day. Bye. Bye. Danny. Okay, two minutes left. Um, leaderboard unchanged compared to yesterday. The uh, Estonian Latvian guys are really up to it last few days. But uh, the difference between the 1 to 5 and 1 to 10 is minimum, really minimal. Um, for instance, if number 5 catches a 32 centimeter perch, he'll run up to the second place. So it's really a, a close call constantly at this moment. Some extra information about rules. Um, sending in pictures. I've seen some pictures on a landing mat or a measuring tape and the measuring tape is then uh, askew or not uh, correctly uh, drawn under the fish. Uh, we have to decline that fish even if it's a uh, 100 meter sender, if it's not being measured okay, it will not be uh, accepted. One minute to go, Evert. Yeah, we are uh, ready. I hope uh, it's 8 o'clock. I hope uh, the participants, uh, well, this is GPS time. And, uh, okay. We wait for the signal. I think it's like... Uh, 10 seconds. 10 seconds. Well, everybody knows me. I'm a military guy, so I'm yes. strict to the second. Time yes. is time. Let's start. No. No, no, no. no. no time is time. Yeah, yes. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Here we go. Guys, good luck. Good luck. Enjoy today. <laughs> okay, uh, guys. Well, this is the last day Predator Tour. We will uh, start in a movie. Uh, hopefully there will be some uh, participants uh, coming in the, to the to the show again. Um, yeah, we wait for that. If you guys have uh, any comments about uh, yeah um, the tour or whatever, drop us in the in the comments and uh, we try to do our best to uh, to give you guys uh, a good answer. Well, uh, in the meantime, we will uh, go back to Predator 2019, the last year's edition. Uh, if you have any questions, drop it in the comments. And I hope we can interrupt uh, the video uh, with some live action from the scene. 
So sit back, relax, and uh, watch the Enjoy. video. Good morning, everybody. Evert here. Predator Tour 2019 is close to start. Behind me, you see the harbor. There will be the uh, morning inspections. We will inspect the boats if they have the safety equipment and it's all safe to start and especially if they all have the right equipment. We do the inspections and we will take care of that the participants are safe. So today is the first day all the participants are coming to the inspection area and we are ready for them. We do the boat inspection and around 8 o'clock we will start and day one is a fact so thanks for watching and uh, for you all guys be the best catch the biggest so today is the first day of predator 2019 everybody's really excited boat checks all done everything sorted uh, we've got the boards all the stickers have been put on the boards specific barcodes for the day a little bit windy so it's going to be a wet run where we're planning to go the weather is not very good, but but you know that's that's a handicap for all other competitors. And we know some spots where we uh, we are have less trouble with the wind, and we will try to to cope with that. But I, I still I'm confident. And I think it's a nice uh, Irish weather today. So wind and rain is good for us. The plan is now around uh, the island. The, there's a little uh, less wind. We have not so, such a big, uh, very big boat, uh, so. Uh, we have uh, some trouble with the big waves. We are uh, yeah, safety first. The competition format is three pike, three zander, and three perch. Our plan today is to try and get the pike done as early as possible. Then we can move on to the others. Ideally, we'd like to have the pike and the zander done on the first day, and then we've only got to hunt the perch. So it's critical that you get all three species on the board to get your thousand bonus points. I'm pretty sure we'll be a lot of big fish because you have so much uh, uh, talent here, you know, the best uh, fishermen in, uh, in uh, Europe, actually, uh, maybe in the world for pike uh, are here, and uh, we are so proud to be part of that, you know. Our uh, goal is to, to finish, uh, to not finish the last. So if you are uh, the 119, we'll be happy. <laughs> Eerste vis, 68 centimeter. Hartstikke idee. Hoppa. Kijk hem al. We are here at the south of 10 meter on the lake Haringvliet. And uh, we are survey uh, yeah, the boats who are fishing here because there are some rules in this nature area. And some of the rules are uh, yeah, you cannot drive harder than nine kilometers an hour. And you have to, uh, you cannot fish behind the yellow marks. You can see the people fishing there. And um, I see two marks. And I see, when I, when I draw a line between it, I see them on the, on the right side. And when they are on the left side, yeah, then, uh, yeah, that's illegal. And then uh, we have to say something or give them a yellow card or, 
yeah, do what we have to do. Uh, de eerste snoekbaars. 81, jongen. Dat zijn ze. Uh, we got uh, four pikes at least and one perch and we try to get uh, the perch full and now we concentrate completely to the perch and maybe when this is, will work we got two days for three sender and that will be our plan today. We speak together, we don't check the leaderboard in the competition because we get nervous and be pissed off at the end. <laughs> so we don't want to do that. It's now two o'clock and it's also time for us to look at the leaderboard. Go to leaderboard and then we will see who's on the first place. What important is now is to see which teams have the thousand points and that are the first five teams. That means they get a full card. So they get the three pikes, the three perch and the three zender. Um, on the first place now with 1588 centimeters, Lionel Chevalier and Tristan Poulin. And then they are followed with 1487 points. So there's a difference of 100, 100 points. On the second place, Gino Dorisi and Patrick Kriemler. And then on the third place, Chris Bloemert and Michel Lichthardt. And I will look at the first, at Lionel Chevalier and Tristan Poulin. They have a pike of 111, so that's a good one. And then pikes around 70 centimeters. Then they have a Xander 65, 65 and 63. So that are good Xanders. And then perch of 50, 47 and 46. So they have really, really, really big uh, perches. So I think they have to upgrade the pike and the Xander. And they are in good uh, position now, but they have to hold it for two days. So it will be exciting. good because we could get five fishes we could get the three pikes and one zender and one perch and then we want to catch more perch and more zender but uh, the motor was damaged before 12 o'clock we had uh, all the pike and perch completed so we were extremely happy and then all our zender spots didn't work so the afternoon was uh, uh, a little bit uh, disastrous but we're gonna we're gonna get that back tomorrow today was for us uh, quite hard um, because we have uh, some small engine problems so uh, we only can go up to 12 kilometers per hour and uh, yeah with this weather condition and wind condition and waves condition it was yeah quite wet i guess and uh, quite hard to, to make it the pikes were full in i don't know an hour or an hour and a half so we started to go for zander and actually we struggled with the zander but we got loads 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 of perch so we have the pikes full the perch full and so now we're just looking for zander it didn't go to plan but we managed to catch a uh, pike and two good zander so we feel going into tomorrow we've got still got a good chance we had like uh, 15 bikes yeah, 15 bikes something like that but uh, only small ones um, the perch was doing really good we had a 50 centimeter perch uh, a 45 and a 44 perch. Um, so tomorrow we go full on the zenders.
Hello everybody. Well, day one is a fact. We are now close to begin with the prize giving ceremony. If you have the app, the free app of our competition, it's downloaded already 14,000 times. So 14,000 downloads of our free app. You can see the leaderboard. Well, the French teams are dominating on the first day. The top three is all uh, participants from France. So they did a really good job. And if you uh, download the app, it's for free, like I said. You can see uh, how much they caught and how many points they got. If you go in the app to the top catches of the day, we also have a prize giving for the biggest fish. A pike of 122, an enormous zender of 94 and a, a monster perch of 52. When you uh, open the app, you see the team who caught the fish and uh, tonight we will give away uh, nice prizes for the best top three of the day. Thanks for watching and see you all tomorrow for day two. But uh, now too many rods, uh, too many rods. Uh, we have too many fishing gear, sheds, Wobblers, uh, crankbaits, and you name it. A little bit of lure. I need because for, <laughs> for fishing is very important. I have uh, two or three rod, a little bit more. And I have a uh, two life jacket because my sp I need for my friend and me. And I have the keys for start the boat and it's good. Gear. <laughs> I got everything, yeah. Yes, batteries, are, batteries are charged and... Uh, I got some fuel in the tank, so that's cute. Fishing here is okay, yeah. Lures? Lures also, yeah, everything. Yeah. Uh, do you need rods for fishing, actually? Yesterday we fish, I fished the whole day with one jet. And there I caught four, four pikes, so. So, so, so as, I, as I counted quickly, you brought uh, something like 4,000 jets and you, and you only fished with one yesterday. E yes, you can say that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Goede morgen, good morning Johan. Good morning Evert, good morning Willem. Goedemorgen. We're standing here in the beach wash again with one mission to catch two pikes over a meter because then we can still win the tournament. <laughs> well, that's that, that's, that's the, the spirit. spirit. <laughs> yeah, so it's uh, casting big lures like these all day long. If okay, so catch, if we don't catch any meter plus, we will move to the Hollands Deep to the bigger water to see if we can catch our luck there. But uh, we're back with, with the vengeance and we, we won't settle for, for less than a win. <laughs> well, that's 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 the spirit. That's uh, the slogan of the Predator Tour. Be the best, catch the biggest. Be the best, catch the biggest. See you later, guys. Yeah, Success. well, keep, keep on luck. hammering and yeah, uh, take them all. Juice worm. Well, that, uh, that was, uh, that was uh, Johan. Live from the scene, it was uh, calm, a little bit of rain. Uh, we will continue with the movie. Predator Tour 2018. Yep. Sweden, what do you think? I think it's lovely, it looks a beautiful morning. Uh, we, we did six pikes today, I think. It would be nice to fill up the, the paper today. And uh, it's the total length after three days, so hopefully we get six really nice fish. And I had three fishing uh, last week, and quite good results, so we'll see. Don't think nobody has fished there since I was there, so... Yeah, we get them. We get them, okay, let's do this. It's okay. You like it? Yeah. Yeah. Long one. Yeah! Yes! Yes! It's a long one. <laughs> Directly. Done nice. cast. It's a fucking long fish. Super. First spot. First cast. Oh, second, second cast. cast. Second Boom. cast. But it's, it's a spawning bay. We have super fishing here. You know, uh, before spawning time, and now we were, I, we were not sure if they still was here, but still they are fish here. Super, super start. Oh. And the new, the new hot spotted bullhead. Busted your did it again. Okay, take it out. Okay. It's a long we fish. Need, yeah, yeah. Okay. Do the shadow. Be careful the shadow. Do you have it? Yeah. 113 centimeters. First stop. Good take on the new color of Buster Jerk. Hot spotted bullet. Okay, we put her back. Bye. Bye bye. Good start. Yeah. Okay, Pierre. Let's do this. Yeah. Yeah. We we decide uh, to start with two different baits, so we can we can figure out if if they are more on jack bait or shad. So if we get more contact on jack bait, I will switch switch with the jack bait as well. But so far, I have struck as well with the giant big shad. And uh, I have some really good results on this on this lake with this this color uh, last year, so uh, I start with that one. And so far, a couple of casts, and I have contact, so I will keep that one for a while, and and we'll see what happens. Now, now we are in another bay, and uh, why we fish here is because we, we're thinking some, some big females still still around after spawning, and, and uh, if they are, they take instant. Uh, so, and 
also I have been fishing here one week ago and, and uh, you know I know the area so I really want to cover this, this, this place this first day and if we don't succeed then we go out to the rocks you know the drop off and so on and, and, and try that one but I think in the end today we're going to have six fishes that's, that's our plan I know, anyway. I changed now Stefan have four pike so far I have only two touch but nothing, uh, nothing on the rod so now it's time to, to be uh, intelligent maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Stefan get the, the fish on the hot spotted bullet. It was like a green, a little bit of yellow. That's actually the favorite of Stefan. So I take this one. Stefan have some weight on the front. This one has the power dots, so it would be perfect. And you can see this one I've catch so many pike, so nothing to prove for that one. But maybe later when we fish deep, we're going to, to use this again because for, for deep water it's perfect. But so far, they like the side-to-side the -side action and the rattle. They're not really feeding, it's more and more aggressive on the bait, so let's try. Okay, Pierre, it's four o'clock. First day is done. And I think we did what we came for. Yeah. The first day we said we will fill the paper, and we did. And actually we have a one decent fish. Yes, yeah, second cast. That was cool. Yeah. Boom. Nice fish. <laughs> tomorrow we're going to have a, I think, new strategy for tomorrow. We forget all the small bay we've done today because yeah. there's not so many fish. No, and but uh, I think we did right to take the base the first day. Yeah, for sure, yeah, yeah. All yeah. the spots that, had, yeah. So. And tomorrow we, we, we try maybe a little bit deeper water, something like this, and yeah. uh, try to get the, the big one. Take them on the rock. Uh, we'll take, take them, the I promise you. Okay, super. Second day of Predator 2, 2018. Uh, we have a new strategy this day. We, we're gonna fish on the drop zones quite far out for uh, catching just one or two big fishes. And uh, we're fishing lots deeper now than, than uh, yesterday. Pierre, what do you think about the weather? Yeah, I think today we have pretty nice weather. It's not so rough, so we are quite lucky because we fish uh, really out. And uh, we fish between big rocks, a big drop. So hopefully we, we fix it today. We need, we really need those two big fish today. Really big fish today. So uh, yeah, it's the first few casts now. So uh, let's let's fish and hope for the for the big one now. Yep. Today we need to switch out at least two fish. Uh, the the top team uh, they had some crazy fishing yesterday. Really big fish is, has been caught, and you know its average size was 109 centimeters. It's crazy! It's so big fish. Morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. You're live here. Yeah. How are you doing today? Uh, I'm fine, thank you. I hope you hear me. Yes, I hear you very well. Can you please turn your camera a, a quarter? Uh, landscape. I'm sorry. Can you turn your camera into landscape mode? A quarter. Yes, I, can, I can do that. Yes, please. I have a new phone. Yeah, I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> and that's not so easy. Well, never mind. Leave it like this. If it's yeah, too much hassle. Well. Me and Gunther, so we're fighting today. It's raining a bit. We are at the beach bush. Yeah. And look, look. First catch of the day. Oh, nice great. Thunder. Nice thunder. Yeah. We let swim in. And then going on, we need a perch. Find perch. Me, can you tell me where we can per, uh, catch perch? Uh, on the beach bush. And otherwise, you call uh, Johan 
from Fish Kids okay. Beast Boys. He knows all the perch, <laughs> but he won't tell you. He won't okay. tell you. Yeah. Uh, are you enjoying today already? Yeah, same too. Bye bye. Okay. Have a good day. See Thank you soon. You. Cheers, danke. Oh, we are forced to switch two fish at least today to, to uh, have a chance. That's why we only go for one or two bites. Okay. Never know. Can be yeah, okay. same size. Ah, oh, smaller. Smaller. Oh yeah, yeah. That's. Uh, but he's not. You see, he's not spawned yet. This no. one. You think? I was the smallest one we have. I don't know. But this is this is pretty small, but still 80, 83. Yeah, we have a 70, 79. 70 something. Are we, we take picture of that. Yeah, we take picture. Yep. Okay? Okay. Good. Start to meet some fish now. Yeah. Not so not so big, but hopefully it's bigger fish. We're back. Yeah, we choose these spots because it's just the edge of the open sea and you know outside here you have lots of bait fish and uh, it's very late in the spring, so the temperature is quite high and, and uh, I think it's good oxygen here when the wind is pushing and yeah, we have tried some spots now when we have meat fish on every spot, so hopefully we get another big fish here soon. Yeah, yeah, fish! Again! Yeah. Good, 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 good! Big one! Yeah, yeah! Super! Come on! It's a good fish, they're strong fish. I imagine much bigger than this. Yeah. You see how they're strong? Yeah. But it's not bad. No, no, no. Yeah, it's not bad. No. And this good. fish hasn't formed. No, no. Nice. Cool, good still fish work. on the good same work. spot. Good work, now we... <gasps> the next. Oh. Now we have the pair. Yeah. <laughs> good. That's a nice fish. Second fish on the, the spot, same spot, after releasing the 107, few casts. You get that one, spotted bullet again, with a 7 gram and the tungsten lead just to go a little bit deeper. Yeah. So, see how long is yeah. that one? Maybe we can improve one fish. It's okay? Yeah, it's okay. Okay, you can send it. Yep. Okay. One more meat to fish for this day and I'm I'm satisfied. It's gone. Nice. Oh nice. Spot lock? Spot lock the boat? Okay, I spot lock. I put, I put the Joseph, you're back again. Back again, look what we have. We oh, still have some. Full card! Full card! Congratulations, really cool. Yeah. Just, just find one moment, one moment, one moment, photo. No, not photo. I'm wrong now. <laughs> 
Yeah. So now, and, and now. Yes, works again. One moment, one moment. Yes. This now, look. This is full card. This yes. is, a, and it's a beautiful bird. Cool. Yeah. On the beast boss. On the beast boss, right. Right. One minute drive. And what's One your minute drive. This was perfect. Yeah, great. <laughs> what's your next strategy? What what you're up to now? Yeah, up to now we have to fight them pike. Our pikes are uh, so 50, 60. This is not much. Yeah, I've seen uh, that. We have to fight them pike now. Maybe some uh, some catches are here, so we we will stay here. Maybe maybe 50 minutes. It's raining and not so, yeah. so funny to drive. And then we will go to Haring's fleet. Okay, hold on, Joseph, because I've got Johan from the Beast Boss also on the on the screen, and maybe you can see each other. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. We're about to get started now. Okay. <laughs> Big Pike, cool. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Bye, guys. Oh, hey, Joseph. Good night, folk. Danke schön. Cheers, Johan. Success. Thank you. Okay, this is fun. People calling in and at this moment from the Beast Boss, Joseph is on the Beast Boss and of course Johan is on the Beast Boss as well. Uh, Joseph needed uh, uh, a perch to fill his cart and that worked out. It was quite a big perch, I can tell later the size of it. And Johan really needed some big pike, and that worked as, out as well. So, enjoy this very much. Talk later, back to the movie. Hi. Nice pike. Look how he won that one. Swallow it. That's a good feeling now. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Okay. Okay? Yeah, yeah he's fixing it good. Yeah. Okay. Pull it back. Ooh, nice fish. Not a monster, but it's a good size fish. Good. Yeah, today so far we we struggle in the morning. In the afternoon, we find some really nice spot, uh, completely outside. And uh, the Pixa 23. Uh, did the job today really, really good. We, uh, I put seven grams on the head with a small tungsten lead and slow retrieve up to the rock in two and a half meters and uh, boom, a couple of fish, seven, uh, 107, sorry, uh, 90, 95 and another one a little bit smaller. So it's good, we are a little bit confident for tomorrow. Of course, we have a lot to do. We need, we need, we need four, four big fish tomorrow, so uh, tomorrow is the last day. So hopefully we meet them tomorrow, but we have a plan, so uh, it's going to be cool. Good one? Ah, it's a small one, I think. You never know. No, 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 it's no, no, it, it could be a good one. But they are quite strong here, so. Yeah. No, no, it's. I don't know. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's, 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 it's a bad, better fish. Good, my friend. It's a really nice fish. Come on. Yeah. Ooh. It's a. <laughs> oh. oh man, look it's a meter fish. Look the color of that pike. Look, now it's over a meter. Look the color. It's unreal. Beautiful. Oh, oh man. One more. One more. Good job, my friend. Wow. 
good. Okay. Really good. Only two more fish over meter, then I'm satisfied. Yeah, yeah, but we'll get them. Super strike. Super. Oh, yeah, it was a super strike. Super. <laughs> ah. Really good. Oh, it's a small so one. Nice. It's a small one. <laughs> yeah. uh, spotted bullet again. Jeez. Okay. Christ. Tell me your fucking longest. Oh, yeah, it's not fish. I need it's a, a long one. I tell you, it's a long fish. Is it me? It's, it's more than 110. Oh, it's 113. Yeah. More, more. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's good. Yeah, it's good. How long? 117. Man, super. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, put you, it in the net. I need a picture. Yeah, put, of put course. It in the net. We move, I have to remove the bait first. Yeah, yeah. It's so, f it's so. I'm so glad because you know we 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 have this spot and and we figured it out yesterday and we were thinking uh, today we're gonna get some some big fish and yeah we have just start fishing. Yeah, it's a super fish. Super super fish. Look at the marks. On a spotted bullet, <laughs> pig shad, 23 centimeters on the edge, 117 centimeters, very fat, quite heavy. Yeah. Okay, we put her back, put her back, we take this side or this side. Yeah, fish, 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 fish. get the net, it's a nice one. Yeah. Stefan? Yeah, 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 soon. Bye bye. Grab the net. You have. Yeah, I, I get it's crazy. Net. Could be a good one. It come easy, but you know yours was the same. So yeah, it yeah is. it's a big. It's big. It's a big one. It's a nice fish. Ooh, it's a nice fish. Yeah, it's what we want. Come on. Ooh. Ooh. Jesus Christ! It's so strong fish! Look! Don't lose the rod, my friend! <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, oh, yeah. Ooh, it's... Come on! Ooh. Yeah, 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 yeah! Oh, yes! yes. Oh. <laughs> Another one! Man, we're on fire today! Ooh. Oh, man! What the fuck happened here? <laughs> You see, we just released 117 and we have another meta pike in the boat. The fight was crazy, yeah? Yeah. I don't want to give her any line, you know? Yeah. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> Look at that fish! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> that was, that was, uh, that is coming. Oh, look. <laughs> 117 again! <laughs> 118. <laughs> Holy shit, boys. Okay, we are, now we can do something now. <laughs> now we're on the game. We One more like this and we step up. We time. are in the game. It's madness. <sighs> this is crazy. It's better than anything. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. 118, 119 maybe. Okay, we take it there. It's okay. Okay? Yeah. How big? 119. Okay, we put in the net and wait to We in, take the other confirm. net because you have hooks here. Yeah. When we just released the, the 117 from Stefan, uh, just for the release, I say, okay, I start casting. First cast, exactly same area, 119. So it's really big fish there. So if you're lucky, we can get maybe another one like this. And now, now we're on the game again. So it's. Uh, it's exciting, really exciting. It's crazy. We don't expect that, you know, not, not two fish like this. We're looking for meter pike, but not not two fish of a 115, like crazy. It's cool. So it's uh, it's super fish. Look at the back of that one. And spotted bullet again. This is crazy bait. Crazy. Okay, we'll put it back. Oh, look at this. Oh. Oh. Life jacket. Look at this beast. Oh, look at this, man. Wow. Yeah, we 
ready to go soon. Uh, she gave a really good fight. She was super strong. Oh, it's crazy. Look, she's ready. Not yet. Oh. Just make sure she's okay. Yeah, I think she's good. Yeah. Whoa. Bye bye. Wow. Super cool. Yes, we're back on the game now. Fourth position. One more fish and we can step up again. So let's do it. Yo, Seth. You ich liebe es, wenn ein Plan funktioniert. Yeah, another one. <laughs> Great birds again. You're doing yeah. really well. Yeah, now we have to fish. Go ahead, fish. And fish catch beißen. Recht gut jetzt. Fang Hecht. Tschüss. Tschüss. Josef is starting to get the most famous predator tour. Well, he's, he's also a premium partner. And he's a premium partner, but you can tell. Let's go back. And by the way, we've got a lot of viewers constantly. So enjoy, have a coffee, have your breakfast and watch this. It's nice to be here. We hope to have more input from the competitors today. Uh, I can tell lots of fish are being caught. We're uploading it constantly and I already said on Facebook. We've got a new uh, biggest sander yesterday and the day before. Uh, the biggest was 91 centimeters, which is quite okay, but now 94. And we saw on the picture if it had been measured properly, we think it was over 95 centimeters. So keep on hammering. Keep on hammering. Later. Jonas is gone. Jonas. No, Jonas. Please call back. Okay, that's the final cast for Predator Tour 2018. It was crazy competition. We start from from nothing to, to maybe the fifth place. So it was a crazy competition, lots of big fish and we fight to the end. So I think we're pretty happy for what we did. Really happy. When you find fish, you need to stay on fish. That's why we build Raptor. It doesn't just stop your boat. It never stops stopping. Raptor relentlessly keeps you on fish by anchoring in securely, then keeping you there automatically. With active anchoring, Raptor senses when wind, waves, or current threaten to push you off your spot. Then it fights back by doubling down, re-anchoring automatically and securing you until you are ready to move. That's how Raptor keeps you locked in. But the perfect hold starts with another intelligent feature. Auto bottom mode detects what you're anchoring into and adjusts the force accordingly. So you get enough power to dig into rocks without getting stuck in mud or silt. And when it's time to move, just press a button to pull Raptor back up. We packed it with more anchor retraction force to get you out of anything and onto your next spot easily. It's the only anchor that starts strong, stays strong, and doesn't leave until you are good and ready. And that reliability is backed by Raptor's rock solid construction and extruded aluminum brackets. Every inch, every hinge, and every component is tested rigorously 
and built with legendary Minn Kota toughness. So it'll take a beating and come back for more year after year. Raptor is controllable from anywhere. It comes with a wireless remote and has an available wireless foot switch. Plus, it's part of the One Boat Network, which means you can raise and lower it directly from your Humminbird Fish Finder, an iPilot remote, or the Raptor mobile app. No matter where you are on your boat when you find your spot, you're always one touch of a button away from being able to anchor in with Raptor. And once you do, Raptor won't quit until you get what you came for. It senses the bottom, the wind, the waves, and anything else that threatens your ability to stay on fish. Then it hits back to keep you on your spot all day long. Because Raptor is relentless. And it's only from Minn Kota. My name is Bram Dressler from Mercury, the outboard engines. We're a proud sponsor of the, the Predator Tour because it fully fits our DNA. The reason for that is because it's all about enthusiasm and passion. And this is spread by the organization and it's spread by the members, it's spread by, by the entire atmosphere in this tournament. So therefore, we're a proud sponsor of this event. We're sponsoring the, the Predator Tour with a financial uh, budget. It's actually an, uh, a big amount, I have to say, uh, that the best may win. Therefore, we're looking forward for, what is it, about six months, the tournament will start, and uh, I'm really excited to see what will happen. Anchors have been around as long as man and fish have collided in skinny waters, doing battle in a test of will, skill, and perseverance. In the interest of winning that battle, man has come up. Anchors have been around as long as man and fish have collided in skinny waters, doing battle in a test of will, skill, and perseverance. In the interest of winning that battle, man has come up with all sorts of ways to hold a boat in place to precisely target his prey. From stakeout stick to concrete-filled can, holding tight is the holy grail. So it's no wonder that eventually man made a mechanized device to accomplish what once took pounds of concrete and long, cumbersome sticks. Enter the shallow water anchor. Fast forward to 2017, because at Minn Kota, we just can't leave well enough alone. We just took the talent to a whole new level, literally and figuratively. You'll see what we mean shortly, or longly, as the case may be. Anyway, here are 15 reasons why the new talent from Minn Kota is indeed the ultimate shallow water anchor. Number one, our electromechanical design makes talent easy to rig, operate, maintain, and love. No mess, no fuss, no muss, and quicker, quieter deployment. Number two, talents deploy vertically as in straight down, so fight that fish around the back of the boat. Stand your ground and know that we'll never get in the way of you and putting that fish right where it belongs, in your tender, loving hands. Three. On the air. You're on hello, the hello, hello. <coughs> hello? Yeah. Hello? Who's this? Hello? Uh, good morning, everybody, on this beautiful, cloudy day in the Netherlands. Hey, but who are you? You're not a participant, and why are you in the air? That's uh, correct, and tevens uh, juist uh, over. <laughs> we are live. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's a pity because of the, the COVID-19 uh, pandemic that, uh, that we have to, uh, uh, yeah, to, uh, to have the President 2 2020 on this way. It's... Uh, it's on the social media, it's on the internet, 
So uh, me and uh, Bernard, we are normally uh, one of the of the, the guys from the organization. But now uh, we are not allowed to be uh, in the uh, in the headquarters of Avid of uh, of uh, of the Predator Tour. So uh, we choose uh, to go out fishing by ourselves. So we are now uh, also on the water, and uh, sometimes we follow uh, what's happening during the Predator Tour on the last day. So to all the participants, good luck. And uh, like Evert always said, keep on hammering because the big one is waiting for you. Yeah. Oh, well, well, Leon, I've got one, one point of critics. Are you trolling now? Yeah. Sorry? Are you trolling now? No, 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 no. <laughs> well, well, guys, it was nice to have you in the show. Hopefully, uh, we will be uh, together uh, next year in the normal uh, Predator Tour. Uh, keep up the good work. Thanks for being at our show and uh, keep on hammering, guys. Thanks, Avid. And uh, again, to all the participants, keep on hammering and good luck for this. Uh, Last few hours of the Tour uh, 2020. Yes. Bye, guys. Bye, 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 bye. 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 Soft bottom settings allow you to adapt your conditions like a chameleon. Four, the word talent alone evokes the image of a fish being effortlessly plucked from the water by a predatory bird, which makes you feel powerful, brave, and fierce. You're welcome. Ready for number five? How about five ways to control your unit? Foot switch, wireless remote, our smartphone app, directly from your hummingbird unit, or right on the talent control panel. Six, the sleek new design is more aerodynamic and, dare we say, sexy. Seven, everywhere you go, you will be the object of much discussion and deliberation among fellow boaters and gas station customers until one of them gets up the gumption to ask, what are those things sticking up off the back of your boat? Number eight, do you have an eight-foot garage door like 67.4% of American families? Well, Talon's unique telescoping design gives you a 94% increased chance of fitting a 12-foot Talon in your garage without tilting. Speaking of tilting, our optional tilt brackets allow you to easily and quickly tilt your Talon into your boat, getting them out of the way for storage or even passing under bridges or spelunking into caves. That's number nine for those keeping score at home. Boom, number 10, lights. Yes, work lights make the back of your boat more than a co-English quarters. It's a nocturnal workshop, a rigging wonderland, a literal beacon of light in the pre-dawn darkness. 11, solo boat launches are a piece of cake. Just unhook your boat, back it in, press the button, talon down, and park your rig. 12, as in 12 feet deep. We also have an 8-foot and 10-foot version, but wait, there's more. 13 is an unlucky number, and we're fishermen after all, so we're skipping 13 and leaving the bananas at the dock. 14, we're almost there, and before we get to one last really big thing, how about some little things, like a standard LED depth indicator, built-in wave absorption, and a deployment notification system that will keep you from taking off with talons down. Finally, number 15. How about 15 feet? Yes, the new Talon has a version that plunges to unheard of depths, a full 50% further than the competition's deepest model. We are unlocking more lake and allowing you to Talon down in more places and more ways than ever before. Whew. Well, there it is. 15 reasons. To get even deeper, just go to MincotaMotors.com. If you take a look around right now, you can see that it's mid-late fall, water temp is 55 degrees. We're coming up on that period where we're gonna transition from open water to ice, but this is actually one of the best times of the year to take to the water if you like ice fishing. And the reason why is I can scan water a lot quicker out of my boat with a good set of electronics than I can on the ice. And the beauty is, via a micro SD, I can transfer information from this unit to this unit. So the LCD gives me all the functionality I basically have in the boat on ice. By using Auto Chart Live, I'm gonna go build my own one foot contour interval map. And then I'm gonna be able to take that and enhance what is already a pretty darn decent base map. What that does is when I'm going out first ice, I know exactly where those fish are grouped up and I can get on them a lot quicker than I can by searching on top of the ice. So if you take a look at my map here, you'll see this point extension sticking out, but it's real general. I know there's a lot more detail there, and typically I'll get a bunch of fish first ice there, and I've always wondered why. So I'm gonna go ahead and map that in a high resolution, one foot contour interval. Again, we're on a small little lake. There's thousands of them in the state that I'm from, and the survey crews don't go to every single one. So I call these sleeper lakes. And the beauty of Auto Chart Live is you can come in and quickly map a lake that may not have any map data, or in the case of this lake, is not a highly detailed map in high resolution. And the process is super simple with Auto Chart Live. On this Solix unit, 
I'm just changing my active panes by touching. I have chart selected. I'm gonna go ahead and hit chart up here, and then I'm gonna select auto chart live. I'm gonna turn this on to record. I wanna display auto chart live, so I'm gonna hit that checkbox. I have my hardness layer already selected there. Bottom hardness is checked, and I'm gonna go into hardness options, and I wanna make sure the color is what I want. Okay, it's set to number one, good enough. And now we're gonna simply mow the lawn, which is nothing other than just drying transects across this structure at a nice modest speed. Five miles an hour is a good starting point. And there you go, my map is starting to generate. I'm in a soft bottom area right now, and that color is portrayed as that light orange. So right here I can see I have bottom hugging fish over the soft basin area. And these are the fish I'm gonna be targeting first ice just off that existing point. So we're gonna go ahead and drop a waypoint on those fish. And that's as simple as touching the screen with the Solix and dropping a waypoint. Look at the rocks there. Part of the reason this spot is so good, down imaging shows me several fish there is we're coming onto this rock pile. Look at that transition zone from hard to soft. The fish are stacked up there. We got big boulders from fist sized all the way to great big boulders. And just as importantly as we have mud and a lot of aquatic invertebrates, the base of the food chain that panfish like crappie and bluegill and perch feed on often live in those transition zones, those transitions between hard and soft bottom areas. I got a nice spacing from that first waypoint, so you want to be able to see your previous tracks. On side imaging, I have some fish right there, which I'm seeing on 2D there. One, two, three, four, and they're pretty close to that transition zone between hard and soft. And what I'm seeing here is just to my right is the rock pile, and off to my left, there is no rock pile. So I'm on the end of the hard spot. That's important to know. And look at that. Those are the fish I'm going to be targeting first ice right there. You can see them on DI and actually get a head count on the number of individuals down there. I'm cranking up the sensitivity. There's several fish, I'd say at least a dozen. So I'm gonna go ahead, drop a waypoint on those fish. I'm gonna go back and target those fish first ice and we're gonna catch them and we're gonna have this map with us and we'll do a waypoint transfer as well. But in general, having the custom map and waypoints and being able to associate the two gives me a really great starting point first ice. The beauty of Auto Chart Live with the Zero Lines card is it holds basically an infinite amount of sonar log data. So I can keep building upon this for years and it's additive. So on each you know, follow on trip, I can hit record and just keep building on the maps. I don't have to do it all in one shot. I have the flexibility to map when I want or maybe the bike gets really slow and I wanna do some custom mapping and have lunch. Auto Chart Live gives you that option. My contours are getting tighter. That indicates we're coming up on that drop off. You can see the lines there, pretty general. And now look at Auto Chart Live. I got a lot tighter contour lines. Those are denoting a one foot change, a lot more detailed than what was existing. And we had just went over a school of fish. So I'm gonna go back into my four panel split. I'm gonna go ahead and drag this back. I'm gonna go ahead and drop a finger on it. And we're gonna go ahead and mark a waypoint. Just another area for me to take a look at first ice. And on those hardest spots, it's giving me this pink color and I can change that in the color palette, but that's showing me the hardest, most prominent parts of the structure. The beauty of this auto chart live functionality with Hummingbird is that this is private information. This is yours. You can share it with your buddies if you so choose. I've invested my own time. I wanna have this for me. This is the edge I'm giving myself when I come out on the ice. And this isn't hard. I mean, I'm not a professional surveyor. I'm just driving around. But because it's additive, it's refining and getting more accurate the more I drive in this area. But that's a really interesting thing to note here on the map. I'm gonna zoom in and show you the steepness of that drop off. And look at that. We're gonna come into this really hard patch right here. And take a look at down imaging. Here's my 2D sonar. Look at that. This information doesn't lie. It's extremely accurate and it will help you catch more fish or figure out why there's fish where you are catching them. So literally 20 minutes of driving on each spot. We got two beautiful custom maps. I'm able to take what I figure out here to other parts of the lake. Okay, fish are on hard, soft bottom transitions. Look at, we're coming into hard, we're coming into hard. It's soft, soft, soft. 
Look at this pink line when I hit it. Okay, we've hit pink, look at that, boom. We're in good rock. I mean, that's nuts on. Very generalized map, I'll zoom in on there. You can see all the lines we've driven over the top. Look how general that is. Look how detailed that is. Plus, I get that hardness information. That's extremely valuable. That's gonna help you catch more fish, guaranteed. There we go. Really light, light finesse bite. That's what finding your own stuff's all about, man. Figured I'd take advantage of what we just found. And there she is, nice big bluegill. It's the middle of summer and it's interesting because these fish can be anywhere. It's, you know, it, 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 a lot of it can be determined by water color. People think they drive deep in the summer, but man, you get green color, algae bloom or anything can push them up, just available light. And you just really, really, especially this time of year, you have to let them tell you what to do. You know, we could start a little deep and work up or it could be the converse of that. But either way, like anything, you gotta let them tell you what to do because it can be game on this time of year. It's a great time of year to fish. The Humminbird units, we've got the Helix Gen 2, come with a feature called Auto Chart Live, which allows you to create your own lake maps. But in addition to creating contour lines on the lake so you know how deep it is, there are some overlay options and a very useful one for Dan and I today this lake isn't mapped, so you can see I'm driving around, is the vegetation overlay. So if you take a look here, you'll see the green spots. Those are where it's those dense mats that we're flipping. And this is a really cool spot here, because when I drove over it, I noticed there's rocks in between. So we've got two weed beds with a deep rock saddle in between those. So what a really cool feature to have to be able to identify where the weeds are and where they're not, actually, because in a lot of cases, where those weeds aren't, it makes a great edge and often it's hard bottom and this time of year, the fish can be there. So if you've got a unit that does auto chart live, it does more than just record depth contours. You can overlay vegetation and also the bottom hardness. There's one. Get in there, Dan. Oh, that is sweet. Man, that's sweet, unbelievable powerful that is. It's amazing how you can pick up line so quickly. That stick, huh? This is what we're averaging this morning, pretty much. It's a good average, huh? All of those. Now we're starting to get into uh, a little heavier cover. You can see over here we've got some dense mats. And what you see a lot of times in low light conditions, for example, if it was a gray overcast day, you'd find a lot of the fish on the edge. And right now as the sun starts to make its way up in the sky, you'll see the fish move from that edge and they'll start pushing into that thick cover when it's bright and sunny and that's when we'll have to go in with the heavier weights and uh, crack on them. But right now it's kind of right on that edge. So. Set it right there and stop. Yeah, that's awesome. It's a, it's, it's a game changer. Literally, it's a game changer holding us right in place, it's anchoring us right here without actually using an anchor. You can get the boat positioned where you want it, hit that spot lock, stay right there, and fish it. It'll hold us right here now. We can fish the rest of the day right here without having to fool with it. I can pull out the remote out of my pocket or wherever it is, and I can hit the spot lock button from the back of the boat. Even in this wind, we're not moving. The boat just didn't move. It was like fishing off of a dock. Do your culling, do all the stuff that you want to do and come right back and you're still sitting in the same spot. While we were on there schooling fish, we was able to hit the jog feature on the remote and was able to actually move over five foot to be able to stay on fish. You hit a button and the boat holds where it's at. Sit and fish and fish and fish and fish until they get tired of fishing and then move. Spend more time fishing, more time casting. Sit back down here, retime my line. That right there is a time saver. I'd use Spotlight every day.
more fish. Let's get on that hummingbird. 2D sonar, GPS, flasher, split screen, GPS, flasher. Another angler just started fishing next to you, and now you're getting interference from his flasher. Change that frequency. Dunk! Mid generate 10 below. Are you gonna give up, or are you gonna get your limit on bluegills? Go up! He's getting ready for ice season. How about you? Let's go, boys. Time's up. So definitely my most used tool on my boat is my Humminbird 360. Over the years, I've became more and more accustomed to using this all the time, no matter how shallow, how deep I'm fishing, because I feel like I'm a way more efficient angler. And it also builds a lot of confidence. It allows me to know that every time I make a cast, I'm making it in a fishy area, right? So what I like to do is just a quick rundown on my setup is first thing I do is I go and I change my color profile. Okay, so there's a couple ways you can do it. You can go up here. It's gonna come standard on number two. Okay, and for me, this image is very blown out and it's hard to de decipher what I'm looking at. So the first thing I do is actually go to the number four palette, which is the brown color. And that really helps to break things up and then I'm also gonna go and I'm gonna lift my sensitivity, which is here, and my contrast, okay? So they're both gonna start on 10, but I like to bring it up somewhere between generally 13 to 15, depending on how hard or soft your bottom is, okay? And then I do the same with my contrast. I keep it about 12 to 15, 13 to 15 in that range, depending on what I'm looking for. And that's about it. I leave everything else the same, keep the sharpness off. And the only other thing that I will do is a lot of times when I'm fishing, I will hit zoom in one time and I'll put my range up to about 119, 120 foot so that when I'm casting, it's right on the edge of my screen, right? That's about as far as I can cast. And you can see here, we're sitting still, 360 works best sitting still. I can see this little grass point that comes out here. We're getting a hard return here because the grass is really thick and the shadow that you're seeing behind it is actually the shadow from the other side of the grass. And then you're not seeing a whole lot out here because there's nothing out there. Right, so this is just kind of a flat, nothing bank coming out. But you see this one little hard spot here that's a little tiny stump barely sitting up off the surface. And the cool thing is I can press and hold. I can hit go to with my old Trex. I tapped the wrong button actually. But press, hold, hit waypoint. And all of a sudden I've got a waypoint exactly right there. And it's gonna pop up on all my units. So definitely the most efficient way for me to find and locate and pattern bass on the water is my Humminbird 360. One thing to keep in mind is that straight forward of the boat is going to be straight forward on your graph, right? So what is straight in front of me is here. And a lot of times, if you've seen any of the videos of me fishing tournaments, you'll see me actually line my rod up on my graph because I'm giving myself a reference point, right? So we're say 30 degrees off to the right is that waypoint that I had just marked on that little stump. And I can lay my rod off my graph and know that that's the angle that I need to make my cast at. And I also know that this first ring is 30 feet, 60 feet, and then 90 feet. So I know it's about 62 or 63 feet off at that angle that I need to make my cast. 30, 60. 90. So a lot of times for me, the biggest thing when I'm fishing tournaments is trying to pattern those fish and really dialing into what is underneath the water, right? These are my underwater eyeballs. 
I can look out there, I can see out in front of me, right? I can actually see where I'm going and see the types of cover that are out there. And it really helps me dial into those little subtle changes in either a creek channel, in maybe a brush pile or a rock vein that I'm fishing. I can see all those little subtle differences where those fish like to hang out and where they're gonna position. And so it just makes me a lot more efficient and it makes me a lot more confident that I know when I'm making my cast that there's actually something there that I believe a fish is holding next to. And there's actually times that I'll see the fish on my 360 sitting around those types of cover. Uh, and that's really important for me. The other cool thing is that a lot of times when you're just fishing down the bank, you know, you're fishing at a slow pace and you're fishing down, I will see things out to the side or out in front of me that are under the water off the bank that other anglers are missing. And if you don't have 360, you would never know they were there. And a lot of those pieces of cover that I've seen have actually ended up becoming in tournaments, some of my go-to spots and places that I catch a lot of my bigger fish off of. So if you are looking to up your electronics game, right? Maybe you don't like to mess around with electronics, but if you are somebody that likes to use electronics and wants to up your game in that category, definitely need to check out the Humminbird 360. No doubt in my mind, it makes you a better angler out on the water. Hey guys, Justin Lucas, 2018 Bassmaster Angler of the Year, and I, I'm gonna share with you guys exactly how I use my Humminbird Solixes this year to help me win that title. So number one, my eyes on this big 15 are always dialed into Lake Master. Lake Master HD and HD map is unbelievably accurate with what it draws you know out in front of me so i know when i approach something that it's going to be really close to what it looks like on this map in front of me and we see a good spot right here uh, we just got off pad about 300 feet back from it because number one i don't want to spook the fish when i come up i want to idle i want a nice clean idle not just run right on top of them and i've got the range ring set up so every range ring is 100 feet. I know that when I, and I've got four set up, so I know that when that outer ring gets to the spot, I'm within 400 feet, it's time to shut off pad and start idling. And so I see a nice little point here, but there's a, another little really subtle indention here. And a lot of times this is what I was looking for, is something really subtle that would just make a nice hard spot that these fish were using that other maps wouldn't show. So once I find that on the map, and I know that I'm getting lined up and I'm accurate, we're going across it right now. Then my eyes turn to the side unit. And this is the Solix 12 over here. I've got a split up and down screen with mega imaging, down image and side image. And then I almost take my eyes off the map completely. I'm looking over here, looking for every little detail, really trying to understand every little thing that's going on here. These are my eyes under the water. Without this, I don't know how to set up properly on something. So we're gonna idle around. We're gonna find a good spot to mark and then uh, we'll show you guys how we get set up. All right, so the first thing that I do when I get to a lake for practice is I go to the chart. This is really, really important. Number one is I actually look on my phone online and get the lake level wherever I'm at. So if I know that the lake is up or down a couple feet, that's really important. Uh, right here, the lake we're on, I, I looked, it's at zero feet uh, water level, so we're just gonna leave it right there. I could change it to you know, higher, being a little flooded, or if the lake was drawn down, I can change it down as well, and the lines are gonna adjust on the graph. The second thing is go into the hummingbird settings. You know, Based on time of year, wherever I'm at, I have a general idea within 20 feet what depth the fish are gonna be in or what depth I wanna concentrate in. And so I've got this set depth highlight at 16 feet, and then the range at six feet. So that means it's gonna go out to 22 feet, and down to 10 feet, and it's gonna draw this beautiful green strip. That's all 10 to 22 feet right there. 
it's unbelievably accurate. I rely on this green strip as much as anything else in my boat, you know, and, and if I need to adjust it throughout the day, it's really easy. If, the, if I'm not finding fish in the depths that I've highlighted, then I change it. But that is definitely the first thing I do when I get to a new lake before anything else. And then as I start to idle around, go over here on the side button, and I like touch screen, it's just really easy. That's why I choose Solix. Guys love Helix and I had them and they're great. I just really love touch screen. I'll show you why on that in a second too. But as I'm idling around, just first thing in the morning, you know, if I know it's gonna be a deep tournament, I'm gonna get out here and kind of mess with the contrast and sensitivity until I get the color that's drawn perfectly for, for this lake. I feel like every lake is different, you know, based on what's in the water, uh, water clarity, all kinds of different things I feel like factor into it. And I noticed that adjusting the contrast and sensitivity, playing with it just a little bit until I get it real clear on the grab, that makes a big difference. Not the same contrast and sensitivity works on every lake. The other thing I like to do is run the chart speed up a little bit. I just feel like this helps draw a clearer picture for me. So it comes standard at chart speed five. I bump it up to seven just to get a little more speed out of it. But that's the start, you know, of now we're ready to go find the spots and find the fish. All right, so we just idled over this point, but what I'm really looking at is this tall piece of standing timber over here, a couple little maybe brush piles right in here, and then a nice big boulder rock right there. So there's a lot of things going on in this little area. And then what I'll do is hit it. This is why I love touch screen. Instead of scrolling over, I can just hit it. Might zoom in to get a little bit better picture of it. And then I'm just gonna double tap mark. Waypoint 1580. And now this waypoint, you know, because my graphs are linked up together, it's gonna show on all four of my graphs if I want it. You can see it just popped up right here, 1580. So now we're gonna take into consideration the wind. It's blowing this way. We're gonna come downwind and I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I get set up on a piece of structure like this. This is where 360 comes into play. This is where, you know, of course my map still, but 2D and 360 are really gonna come into play on a spot like this. All right guys, now that we have our waypoint set, uh, you can see here 1580. This is where again, range rings are gonna come into play and this is where 360 really comes into play for me. I've got my range ring set at 100 feet. You can see that the waypoint is within 100 feet. I also have range rings on my 360 and it's set at 100 feet. And so right now you can see this waypoint's about halfway between my boat icon and the end of this 100 feet. So it should be within 50 feet what we marked, right? Looking right here, here's that same piece of tall standing timber that we saw, another one right there, and there's that one piece of, that one rock. And I know now that's a dead on cast right there to what we marked. And you can see my boat pointed right at it. There's a piece of standing timber, the rock right next to it, a little bit more of that standing timber and another, another laid down log right there. And this is where I set up shop with a spot lock and then I can continue to make repeated casts to the exact spot. And this is why it's such a critical player for me, especially on lakes that I'm not familiar with and why, why for me this is one of the most important tools because a guy that lives here can go, okay, I know if I cast at that bridge piling, you know, lined up with this house, that's the cast. I don't know that. It is really hard for a guy to learn that in two and a half days of practice. So this tool helps break that down so much easier and is a huge difference maker. I don't have to get right on top of them. I sit back, make my cast to them. I know I'm within 100 feet of them. That's a 33 yard cast. And you can see here, there's a fish. Here's a nice brush pile we're on top of. I mean, we marked some nice looking stuff down there. Hey, if you guys wanna up your deep water game, you know, this is exactly how I've got it set up. You guys got the detailed information today and check out Solix or Helix. They're both gonna help you become a deep water master. What lies beneath can no longer hide. New Mega Imaging Plus uses high frequency sonar to show you fish and structure up to 200 feet below your boat and 200 feet out to either side. No more secrets, no more guesswork. Just a clearer picture of the world below, down to a fish's species and direction. Because more detail means more of this. Only from Humminbird. If you're a sportsman living in the ice belt, you might find value in having an all seasons fish finder. Humminbird came up with the solution with their Helix G2N unit. This is the all season model, and what that means is you get 
the Helix G2N Ice Pack, but it comes with a high-speed trip transducer that you can mount on your boat. The nice thing about that is you can take your waypoints with you. You can do auto chart live with the Humminbird Helix unit, and you can take those waypoints and that map anywhere you go all in one unit, just by simply switching the power cord and the transducer cable. So here at Wired to Fish, we fish out of a multitude of boats. We've got our highly transferable boats, we've got kayaks, and we've got canoes. And a great accessory that can come with this is a suction cup transducer holder. Just slap it on the back of any old boat. You don't need any screws or anything adapters like that. You don't need to drill holes in your boat. Like I said, slap the suction cup transducer on the back of any boat, kayak, or canoe, and that makes it a universal unit. And one thing that's incredibly invaluable is having this be available on your boat especially in the fall time like we are right now, where we can go out and scout basins or scout spots and find panfish and lay down waypoints and make maps and all that will be available when you go to fish during the early ice season and all season long. Within the all season pack, you get two transducers, one for the ice unit and one that you can put on any open water vessel such as this boat. So you get the soft pack for ice fishing, you get the gimbal bracket that you can mount in your boat and it comes with two transducers, one that you can use on hard water on the ice and one that you can use in open water. And what's nice about this is that it comes with two power cables, one for your ice unit and one for the power source in your boat. And as an added bonus, you can take this pack anywhere you go because it has self-contained power with a nine amp hour battery. So simply put, all I have to do is take the head unit off, put it in my ice pack, reconnect the transducer and the power, and I've got all my mapping, waypoints, and the technology available from Humminbird Helix G2N, 365 days a year. We are live again. Moin, moin. Moin, moin. Moin, moin. Uh, we get, how are you doing? Oh, they're gone. Too bad. We had a caller from Hearty Rice. Hope they try again later on. Continue with the film. I'm on one of those lakes today that's dotted all over the Midwest. I mean, you can, you can find lakes like this about anywhere. There's a lot of weeds in it, but along with the weeds, we got great pike fish and we got walleyes in here. We got crappies, we got bluegills, you name it, they're here. Because the weed growth gives them everything they need. It gives them some cover, it gives them areas to eat, gives them oxygen. I mean, really the weeds are what make this system work. But it gets a little bit hard sometimes to catch fish in these systems because deciphering where you want to fish can be tricky. What I'm trying to do today is fish right over the top of the weeds. So what I'm doing is I'm looking for depths where the weeds might come up halfway up the water column. Now, if you look at a 2D sonar, and this is really cool because on this, on this Humminbird Helix, I'm able to actually show you a split screen that shows you everything. If you look at a 2D sonar right here, what you see is it looks like it's just cluttered. You might even mistake some of this for fish. It's really hard to read what it is. And this is what's so great about down imaging. If you look down here and you look at my down imaging, you can see that I'm actually drawing every single stem. I'm seeing every single weed as it comes up off the bottom. And because it draws you that picture, you can see exactly what you want to know. I know that I've got you know, five to seven feet below the surface of clean water that I can fish. I can see how thick the weeds may be, how thin they may be. I can see if they're laying down or sticking up, which is going to make a difference as the year wears on and some of these weeds start to die off. You're going to want to try to find those weeds that are alive and sticking up. So all said and done, when you're fishing in weeds, one of the greatest tools I have, and you should be using it, is your down imaging unit because you can see everything about that weed bed. And here's what's really cool. There's times you can actually see fish in those weeds too. There's no way you're gonna be able to do that with your 2D, but you're gonna see them with that down imaging unit. When you put it side by side like this, when you pull up this split screen and look at it, you'll know what I'm talking about. I mean, you just won't go without this again. Down imaging is really the way to go when you're fishing in the weeds. I'm gonna get a line in the water because I'll tell you what, I do believe there's gonna be a pile of fish here. Well, ice fishing season is here now, and I pulled the zero lines card that we recorded the auto chart live data to, and here's the same ice pack we had on open water. You can see, here's the map that comes stock for this particular lake. It hasn't been mapped in high definition yet, which is why we did our auto chart live mapping, so we could have one foot contour intervals 
basically a more accurate map when we went ice fishing. Plus, with the composition information, we'll have hardness data too, which can be pretty valuable. So I'm gonna slide this little micro SD card in here, and then you're gonna see this map populate. I get a prompt there asking, do I wanna switch to the zero lines card? And the answer to that is yes. And there we go. The spot that I'm most interested in is this structure over here. So we're gonna go drop the snowmobile off, go out there, drive that structure and start looking for some panfish. So we're on the spot we wanna fish. And you can see I have the Helix 5 with a base map on it. Again, lacks detail. It still shows me the general location of this bar that sticks out into the lake. And then I have my auto chart live data. And this is with a one foot contour interval. So the first step that I do when I get to a new spot is no different than with my boat. I start driving. We've got a caller again. There you are again. Hi right, guys, we have problems. It's raining hard. Is it? That should not be a problem. Can you turn your camera? Can you turn your camera? Oh, great fish. Always good to see people catching fish. Hot your eyes. Hot your eyes. Great pipe. Oh, Petri. Don't throw it back, please. Nice one. We released this mummy. But the rice is on fire. Yeah, they are. Look at that. This is hammering. She'll get by. Let it go. Let it go. Yes. Congrats, the guys. Worked. The plan works very good. Okay, what's the plan? What's your plan for today or for this morning? Big bait. Big pike. Sunly pike. Big bait, big bait. Yeah. You drained her. She's really tight. There she goes. Bye bye. Bye. Right, guys. We see us later. Yes, thanks for this. Cheers. 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 Great fish again from the Hearty Rice team. Um, later on, we'll have a leaderboard update again. And the biggest catches for today. Back to the film. Hold on. So I'm going to treat the snowmobile as my boat. And right now I have depth highlight selected. I have the depth highlight option available on this Helix ice pack as well. And I have 20 to 22 feet highlighted. No different than my boat. I'm just gonna drive in that highlighted green area right now, adjacent to the steeper contours. So that will represent the base of the drop off. And in the winter time, you'll oftentimes have fish kind of set up in those basin areas eating blood worms and other invertebrates. So that's where we're gonna start. That doesn't mean the fish are there, but at least it's a systematic start to the search. I have one thing here that Auto Chart Live provides in addition to one foot contour interval accuracy, and that's bottom composition. And that can be really important to figuring out a pattern. The blue represents the real hard bottom spots on this particular spot. So the fish may not be there, but at least I know where those hard bottom areas are, so I can eliminate them, or maybe the fish are there. So it's just, Having bottom hardness is just one more piece of information to help me put the puzzle together. So I'm gonna go drive right now in the green. We're gonna film that from the air. My track is gonna serve as the path that I wanna drill around. So I'm gonna drill the snowmobile track. I'm gonna drill some shallower. I'm gonna drill some deeper. And that'll help me hone in on where those fish might be. At least I have a path to drill out versus just aimlessly drilling holes on this structure.
So I started marking a pile of fish on this hole, and if you look at my track here in red, this is the last spot I drilled, and this is where I started to mark them. And you'll note that there's a contour change here. There's an extension, a, a real subtle point. You can see the contour lines are spread far apart. So this is kind of a basin area, but yet a little bit of structure. Stuur de man met een berichtje. Hello, hello. Hey, Evert. How are you doing? Yeah, te bro. Marcel, can you uh, turn your camera a quarter, please, to uh, to the left or right? Yes. Uh, And, and, and switch your camera. I see your beautiful boat, but not you. No, I, I'm trying to, but I don't know how, but... Echt early and after. Maybe like this, right? The technique works great. Uh, it's a different <laughs> kind of program you're using, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, let's do it like this. Uh, otherwise, Marcel, uh, we uh, disconnect and uh, turn your camera and, and then call again. Okay, I will do that. See you. Okay, done. Well, that was Marcel. Marcel, uh, well... Um, yeah, I would first call and then I explain who Marcel is. Marcel is uh, sitting as we speak in Sweden and uh, I will uh, wait for him to call in. Well, uh, for the old timers, just like us, uh, the techniques are not that easy. No. Turning cameras and, 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 but hey. Well, in the meantime, since I'm in the air as we speak, uh, we will start soon with a giveaway. A giveaway with five original jerseys for the viewers and uh, well stay tuned for uh, that uh, for uh, the more information coming soon I already dropped it in the comments uh, but uh, I will wait uh, after Marshall is calling in I wait for him uh, a little bit more um, to return but I think he has some problems calling in well, we go back to the movie. Hopefully, uh, Marshall will call in again and we do a short interview with him. And after that, we start with the giveaway from the jersey. So if you want a jersey, you can already drop your comment and uh, maybe you can win one. The Unique Predator Tour 2020 online jersey. So stay tuned for uh, more news. Full purge. Probably a few bluegill mixed in. So I'm going to drop down. The nice thing about the Helix Ice Unit, the G2N, is that I can have my sonar screen with mapping if I would like. I did drop a waypoint on this spot. So waypoint man management's a pretty big deal. You find a productive hole, you can drop a waypoint and return to that spot. A few bottom hugging fish. Oh, look at, there we go. This one feels a little nicer. You'll get a mixed bag of these panfish running together in the winter bluegill and crappie and in this case solid jumbo perch because they use the same areas oftentimes it's pretty food driven and we use mapping today to help us kind of figure out the lay of the land we set up in a bit of a basin area off a subtle point and connected with our first quality fish so pretty cool to feel that success and not too far over there is the community hole on this spot but through custom mapping and then strategically going and drilling out this area and hole hopping, we were able to find a spot for ourselves away from the pack. And that can mean the difference between connecting with some of these guys versus beating your dummy on a depleted spot or where the fish have been pretty heavily pressured. I get a little bite, I'll drop my rod tip. And if I see slack, that means the bait's in the fish's mouth. And this one's fighting a little different. Pulling pretty good though. There we go, respectable bluegill. You get out here on a nice day, you can have a great time, catch a lot of fish, catch a lot of different species of fish. And the beauty is you can come back on, you know, following years and have that information in your ice unit. You can have it on open water. 
but you can you know catch these fish with a little bit better consistency and mapping really changes that I would argue if there's a time for high quality mapping, ice fishing in particular is very powerful because you don't have as much mobility. So you really do need to be smart as to where you drill a hole and, and how you break down that water. And Auto Chart Live is just another tool in the toolkit. My name is Bram Dressler from Mercury, the outboard engines. We're a proud sponsor of the, the Predator Tour because it fully fits our DNA. Yes, it finally works. <laughs> hey, David. Uh, welcome to the show. For me. <laughs> welcome in the show, Marcel. Good morning. Thank you. Thank you. Well, the reason that I will uh, get you into the show is uh, yeah, well, we, are, uh, <clears throat> we go uh, way, way long back. Uh -huh. um, but uh, yeah, well, maybe you can tell uh, about yourself. Why are you in the show? Because you have also a connection with the Predator Tour. Yeah, yes, that's correct. I've joined the first edition of uh, Predator Tour in Norwegian, and uh, you know, I'm not the best fisherman, fisherman that fins. <laughs> <laughs> well, that that's uh, you can't say that. Uh, but I, uh, I did my best and it was a very nice uh, uh, addition and we won. Yeah, you, yeah, that's why I invited you in the show. You are the first winner of the Predator Tour and we go all the way back to Norway. Because in the beginning we uh, went through uh, all the European countries. Later on we, we, we stayed the headquarters in the Netherlands. But you were the first uh, winner of uh, of the Predator Tour together with Eric, of course. Ah, and uh, yeah, and and can you tell something because you won the competition? I think in the last hour or something. Can you tell more about it? Now well, it was the last day, but uh, we we uh, didn't have our pikes completed, and uh, I was cast into a, a shallow on a place. We didn't expect any uh, uh, trout, <laughs> but uh, I thought I had a, a bag of garbage on my uh, spoon uh, of a, <coughs> a rod. <laughs> uh, I'm mixing Swedish and okay, English a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no worries. <laughs> but uh, when it came near the boat, I said it was a trout, so we were very. Uh, uh, very glad, uh, very uh, glad, <laughs> but uh, we didn't have all our pikes, so we have bar, uh, only about four hours to complete our pikes. So we fish like hell, where we catch all kind of small pikes, but we managed. Yes, so that's that's uh, fortunate for us. We won the predator too. Yeah, well, well, for for the for the viewers to explain. In those days, and, and we go all the way back to 2009, it was the first edition of the Predator Tour. In that competition, you need to catch, uh, well, we have now zenders and perch, but in those days, uh, one of the species was uh, also uh, the, the trout. And you have to catch one, and, and uh, yeah, well, Team Marcel and, uh, and Eric, because he uh, is deserving also all the credits. Yeah, they, uh, they took the trout and, and won the first edition. Uh, Marcel, uh, where are you now? And, and uh, I live in Sweden now, <coughs> in uh, uh, Mulgo, near the, the second uh, largest water in Sweden. Okay. Of uh, Wetteren. <coughs> <coughs> so you're uh, no uh, longer uh, a citizen of the Netherlands anymore? No, 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 no. I emigrated to uh, Sweden. Okay, okay. Well, uh, without uh, naming any brands, what's your uh, profession uh, as we speak? I'm an uh, al uh, aluminium uh, fishing boat builder now. Okay. Well, I know uh, from uh, Jeffrey and, uh, and Hank, they, uh, they drive a uh, first uh, edition now in the Netherlands. Yes. And uh, we meet up in, in Sweden last year at uh, the, the Sport Fishing and Boat Show. 
So I am uh, familiar with your work and I can say it's uh, really beautiful that you're doing. Thank you, thank you. Well, Marcel, it uh, was my pleasure to invite you in the show. Uh, I really like that you made some time for us and uh, yeah, introduce yourself to uh, our viewers as the first winner of the first Predator Tour, so to say. Uh, for my side, uh, I wish you all the best and stay healthy and uh, keep up uh, the good work because uh, uh, yeah, you uh, make uh, some nice boats, uh, so to say. Ah, thank you very much, Evert, and we we'll see you soon. Hope I hope in Sweden. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe, maybe one day. It's... Uh, okay. Hey, Marcel, thank you, and uh, we keep in touch. You're welcome, Evert. Bye bye. Bye. Okay. Good luck with the tournament. Thank you. Well, that was Marcel. Marcel is uh, a really nice guy. He was the first winner of the, the in that time, the Norwegian Predator Tour. Uh, when I started the Predator Tour, it was my uh, dream uh, to travel around uh, Europe. Uh, uh, that's why we have the name Tour also in it, because uh, in the first early days, I was planning to uh, travel around. Uh, we started in uh, in Norway, the first edition, the second year to my good friend uh, Herman uh, in Ireland, back to Holland. But then uh, the, the Predator Tour became bigger and bigger and bigger. And that's why I decided to, uh, to stay in the Netherlands and let all the participants from all over Europe come to Holland instead that we were touring around. Well, uh, that was in short an interview uh, with uh, Marcel and a short history of the tournament. Uh, we go back for like a couple of minutes to a movie again and then we do the giveaway for the jerseys. So if you want to have, if you want to have, uh, want a jersey, the unique Predator Tour jersey, stay tuned and we will give away five. So if you really like to have a uh, a jersey stay tuned and stay focused
Okay, and we're alive. Uh, well, for the viewers, we have, as we speak, uh, over 40 viewers uh, right now. Well, uh, we do it like this. We're going to give away five of the unique Predator Tour shirts. Normally, it's only for the participants. But we uh, decide to give away five shirts. Uh, we have all sizes, so you can have your uh, size so you can really uh, wear the shirt. Uh, we do it like this. Uh, um, go to the comments and drop in the comments why you think you deserve the unique Predator Tour shirt. Or need. Or need it. Or, or, uh... And for your information, this is almost big game fishing. So the sizes also go to extra, extra large. Anyone can wear, anyone can deserve this shirt. Yes, uh, and uh, we give you guys some time to uh, think about this, to make a nice slogan in the, and we get the Jonas into the show. Hello. Hey, how are you? Good, and you? Yeah. How do I uh, switch the camera? What do I have to do? Uh, just do it like this. Like this? A quarter. No, turn your. You to, no. You just have to turn the camera like this. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I see ah, it. It's fine. It's fine like this. Okay. Fine like this. Okay. It's not possible to, to turn the camera. Yeah. Okay. So I can't. I can't do. Well then, in that case, I'm gonna sit like this. Because yeah. Then I, yeah. Okay. Perfect. Can you uh, can you turn your camera like this? Like this? In a horizontal way. Yes. yes. Perfect. Now we have better views. <coughs> okay. So are we live? Yes, you're live. Okay. Cool. Everybody can so, see you uh, now. Okay. Perfect. So um, let's see. Yeah, Robin is uh, fishing um, vertical and uh, pelagic at the moment. So uh, something between it. Yeah, something between. So uh, when we're fishing pelagic, uh, only uh, one person on the boat is fishing. Uh, at the moment, it's uh, Robin because uh, he's uh, the more um, expert and uh, yeah, and he he already had a. Uh, how big was it? 90, 94 and uh, uh, 80 plus center, so uh, it's going really well for him uh, today. So um, now the weather just changed. Um, uh, it's getting quite nice at the moment. Uh, 10 minutes ago, uh, the whole sky was just black, and uh, now we just had a nice rainbow here. And uh, so the scenery is uh, actually quite nice uh, now. So it just, uh, yeah, the weather changes really quickly. Um, uh, sometimes uh, the waves are quite big and we uh, bumpy ride uh, when we change the spots. Um, yeah, but uh, at the moment it's, uh, getting, it's getting nicer. Um, let's see if we can uh, catch one more sender um, when we are live because uh, I think uh, what we're trying to catch is another one uh, bigger than 65 uh, at the moment to um, to upgrade to change the last fish yeah. in the ranking yeah what's what's the what's the species to upgrade for you guys is it the sender or the pipe um, Actually, because the sender went really good this morning, uh, we are we are still trying to catch a third uh, sender to replace the 65. Because Robin says he he's um, yeah he's trying to to catch one bigger than bigger than that. Uh, he's really optimistic to get one. Uh, over 70 uh, but I think after that we definitely have to catch pikes Pike, yeah. Now, yeah, now now we've got a pike there 
also maybe yeah because pike is actually uh, the next thing we need for the ranking we need two more uh, pikes um, we've got small ones but uh, i think one is 45 and the other one is 65 so um, that's definitely something we want to try later but the last days at the pikes started at uh, 12 or 1 o'clock so at the moment uh, maybe it's better to uh, to catch uh, another sender over 65 and after that uh, 12 o'clock 1 o'clock uh, we change and we go flat and then we're, we're gonna fish um, cheddar bait we're gonna fish uh, spinner bait and we're gonna uh, fish big bait of course yeah uh, well if 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 i may advise you um when I check uh, your uh, your scoreboard, uh, your smallest sender is uh, 65. Yeah. Uh, suppose you get 75. Sorry. Uh, can you uh, get your phone out of the wind? Is that possible? A little bit. Yeah, that's better. Yeah. yeah. When you uh when you upgrade the bikes, smallest bike 45. Is, yeah. Isn't it more wise if I my, if I may advise you to go all in for the bikes now? Yeah, we we should do that. Uh, but as I just said, um, the pikes started biting at twelve or one o'clock uh, the last day. So um, Robin said maybe it makes more sense to to try uh, another maybe twenty minutes for for the sender. Maybe you can get one. Uh, about 70 or more and um, after that definitely we go all in for the pike um, and then we go we go flat um, and we fish between one and three meters probably we fish uh, spinner baits cheddar baits and and big baits yeah yeah okay okay well why is and, this I hope of course we're trying uh, when we when we fish uh, the cheddar baits we are um, we are also of course aiming for a third perch over 40 because um, when you fish the cheddar bait you can get both you can get uh, sure. a good pike and of course you can get a good perch too yes yeah. yes yes good combat yeah well uh for the viewers back home uh, where do you fish i don't need to have the hot spot in in which country yeah. uh we are we're fishing in uh, in the netherlands we're fishing uh, holland steep at the moment uh, okay actually we, we've we fished uh, holland steep the last two days as well um so that was quite good for us so yeah. we stay here yeah, i i I fish myself Holland's Deep uh, very often, so I see in the background uh, exactly where you are. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't matter for now because uh, it's uh, it's it's uh, your spot as we speak. Well, I uh, will uh, I will say uh, thank you for being in our show. It was really nice, and I really appreciate that you made some time to explain what you're doing and the tactics and so on. And uh, make, make me a promise when you catch the big pike this afternoon, call in and we do the, the interview. And hopefully you will get from uh, place number seven back up for at least number five. Can we agree on that one? We try. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think so maybe we, we come again live. Um, I think if we go in the flat water, we try it in the Harling Street later in the middle of the day, and um, we try to catch with uh, big baits, uh, some big pike. Uh, maybe we come uh, live again. Yeah. Yes. Want. Maybe we can live when we've got the next meter in the net. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so Do that. Live and then we're going to release it together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, okay, so. well guys, thank you and uh, happy uh, fishing. And uh, I see you soon in, uh, you can call in whatever you want. We are ready for you guys. All right, see you later, guys. All right. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay, that was a nice interview. They are at a place number seven as we speak. They fish in the Netherlands uh, uh, at uh, Holland's Deep. And, uh, yeah, I think uh, the, the smallest uh, pike is like... 
That's the smallest hole of 45. 45. 45. So that's really uh, approvable. And if they catch uh, maybe a, yeah, they can a 70 or an yeah. 80 pike, they go way up uh, on the ranking. So, yeah, uh, yeah follow those guys. It's that's team number uh, 56, and they are an overall ranking of number 7. Okay, well, back to the uh, giveaway. Uh, we have some comments. Uh, we'll, I will scroll down a little. Uh, uh, Maurice Kuken, he said nice prices. Well, Maurice, if you can give Maybe another more. comment. Yeah, more elaborate. More. <laughs> then uh, nice prices. Yeah. Then maybe you can uh, win uh, the jersey. Uh, Jay Nijkamp, yes, please. I want the Predator Tour jersey. Well, but why? 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 Explain us why. Uh, Ronnie de Vries, cool. I really want one. Yeah, of course. But everybody wants one. But he starts to explain later yes. on. Uh, huge fan of Predator fishing. Really like the big Predator <coughs> Tour, and I hope I can participate one of the days. Good luck to everyone. Who wants one of those cool jerseys? Well, I think, uh, Wim... We're already one winner. We have one winner. Already. So, uh, Ronnie de Vries, uh, you're the first winner. I will write your name down. Yes, and send us uh, your address by DM and, and your size. Now, we do it like this. No. Uh, Ronnie... If you go to the website of my company, it's uh, Pike Master Lures. Go to uh, the contact yeah. uh, contact page and uh, send us an email with your address uh, to info at pikemasterlures.nl and you're the first winner of the jersey. Uh, also, send your address and the size of the shirt you want. So, uh, Ronnie de Vries uh, from the Netherlands, I guess. Um, yeah, I think he's from yeah. the Netherlands. Send us an email to info at Pike Master Lures. And if you can't remember it, go to the website uh, www.pikemasterlures.nl and go to the contact. There's our uh, email address and send your details and we take it from there. So, Ronnie, you're the first. Who will be the second? And be elaborate on why you want to win this shirt. I want one. Yeah, I wanted one too, but I have to give this back to Avert later today. It's really a unique shirt. So, yes. well, Ronnie, he already uh, uh, put the comments. You, thanks, guys. Okay. Well, Ronnie, congratulations. Congrats. And uh, who will be the next? You, you think? Are there well, at this moment, I only see. Whoa, looks pretty cool. Yes, we know that. And uh, this is not elaborate. That's not explaining why you want this shirt. Explain why you deserve this shirt. Or maybe even give away to a friend of yours. Be specific and we'll choose the... Ah, oh, congrats Ronnie, that's cool. We will choose uh, the loveliest comment. Yeah, we have, uh, as we speak, uh, over 30 viewers uh, live. Uh, are there any of those viewers who want to have this unique shirt? The only thing what you have to do is drop in the comments of this broadcast <coughs> why you think you want to have a shirt. Hey! Hi, Frans. Frans. I'm a huge fan as well and would really like one of those great jerseys. Well, sorry, Frans. You already got one yesterday. Oh, <laughs> greedy, greedy. For the viewers, uh, Franz dropped in the comments that he liked the shirt. Well, uh, he received it already on Friday. Franz is uh, our uh, premium partner from uh, Hummingbird and from Minkota and from the company Technolic. And uh, they are a uh, yeah, premium partner of the event. So, uh, sorry, Franz, I have to disappoint you because you already got one. And we want to save four for the other people. So, uh, yeah. well, uh, guys, come in. We have close to 40 now. Is there anybody over there who wants to have the great shirt? Just drop the comments and you will be the lucky winner, just like Ronnie. 
And to make it more interesting, like I say all three days, this shirt is like a Harry Potter shirt. If you wear it, you've got a boat on your belly, or water, or anything else you want to have. It's really cool to have. Uh, Erwin Bremer, yes please. Yes. But why? Yeah, everybody wants to have a shirt, but tell us why. So Erin, if you want to have a shirt, drop in the comments why you want to have the shirts. And uh, maybe you get one. Hey, we got another one. I really want like to predator the jersey. I'm going fishing with my daughter next week. Would be cool both wear a jersey. Hans. Well, Hans, of course, we will give you a shirt. But that doesn't come off the four that we will give away. Excellent. Because Hans is also in organization and he is wearing, as we speak, already the jersey. So Hans, you will get one for your daughter. Yes. Yes. Well, Erwin, please drop <coughs> in the comments why you want to have a shirt. And uh, maybe you're the second winner of today. Good. Coffee? Yes, please. Uh, Erwin posted, I was in Venom last year, a bad week, but a great memory. This is so one. Yeah, but but Erwin, with all the respect, maybe it's not really the answer we are looking for. Give us the answer why you want to have the shirt, because I, I really appreciate that you are in uh, Sweden last year. But why do you want to have the unique jersey? Then a comment of Jay Nijkamp, because I'm a great fan of the Predator Tour fishing and it might be bring some luck. Well, that's a good answer. Jay Nijkamp, you're the second winner. I will write your name down. Uh, Jay Nijkamp. Jay Nijkamp is the second winner. Well, Jay, for you, uh, the same as for Ronnie, go to my website www.pikemasterlures.nl, go to the contact and there you see the email address. Email address is info at pikemasterlures.nl. Send us the size and the address and we will send you this unique jersey at your home. So congrats, Jay Nijkamp. Uh, another one is coming in, Christian Rauhoft. I hope I pronounce it right, Christian Rauhoft. That's absolute amazing, needed for green screen, really funny. But no, it has long arms like it in the summer when the sun is burning. Well, I think that's a winner as well. So, Christian Rauhoft, I will write you as the third winner. Christian Rauhoft. Here you go, sir. Well, Christian, congrats uh, for you. The same. Uh, go to my website www.pikemasterlures.nl and uh, go to the contact address. There's the email info at pikemasterlures.nl. Write us your name, address, and the size of your shirt. And we will send this unique Predator 2 shirt to your home address. Uh, next one, Erin Bremer. With this shirt, it will be great memory. Watch Predator 2 every day. And with this shirt, it will be great item for a great match. I think that's a winner as well. So, Erin Bremer, you will be number four for this winner like Erin Bremer. Well, for you, Erin, the same. You are the number four on the list. Uh, go to my website, www.pikemasterlures.nl. Go to the contact, write us your name and address and the size of the shirt you want, and we will send it to your home address. Okay, Jane Icomp, thank you, boys. Good luck today. Well, the same to you. Well, Andrew, Andrew Hagens, good morning, Avert. How is it going so far? Well, Andre, it's going great. Really great. I hope you are great too. So, we have still one shirt. The official Predator Tour 2020 unique collector's item of uh, the Predator Tour. 
Who will be the number five winner? We are still waiting for the number five. We have uh, 38 viewers live at the moment. So the first who will come in with the unique comment why you think you deserve this unique tournament jersey, you will deserve one. Who will be number five? Okay, drop the comments, drop the comments and uh, surprise us. Well, Andrew is uh, saying in Dutch, uh, I'm going to fish, at least uh, blanking, so he's already confident that he won't catch anything. Well, Andre, that's not the spirit. You know what it is. Keep on hammering. Keep on hammering. Uh, how do I make a chance? Well, uh, drop in the comments, why do you think you deserve this jersey? Uh, Thomas uh, Hulkfisk, uh, I watch live from Sweden, would like a sweater. Well, Thomas, we all like a sweater, but drop in the comments, why do you think you deserve a sweater? Make a nice statement, uh, motivate me, why I have to send you the sweater to Sweden. So the first who will drop the nicest uh, sweater... <laughs> Uh, we send them home. Ronald Bullen, do you have them also in another color? No, Ronald, no. sorry. Those are unique design. We do in every year a new design. So this one is for this year. Well, uh, coffee, Wim. Coffee. And uh, wait for the first to uh, drop the comment and win the last uh, shirt. Hey, yes. From who are live, just got a really big center again. Okay. Okay. Let them call in. Uh, Andri, he's uh, pronounced it in uh, Dutch. I can uh, use one because I'm a great fan of you. Of Unbelievable. And everything you do, uh, it's a nice shirt for my fishing collection. What do you think? I know Andri a bit. I think he deserves it. Well, Andri, uh, Anyone who says he's a big fan of me, uh, how can I say no? Not too to late that? for all the other, all the other <laughs> people. <laughs> ah, so, uh, well, Andre, um, you're the fifth and last winner. I will write your name down. So, uh, you win also the unique uh, Predator Tour uh, shirt, Andre. Um, Let the lot, Luke. Um, go to my website. Uh, and uh, www.pikemasterlures.nl uh, Over there you can find our email address and send us an email with your details and we will send you the shirt at your home. Okay, well, uh, we said uh, we do... Uh, Dennis. We said we do uh, five, but... Okay, I... Luke, I will make you a good deal. You said, uh, yes, I want to have the shirt so I don't burn in the summertime. Well, that's a good reason. Yeah. We said, uh, we said uh, five, but we will fix you. And we give away uh, the, the shirt as well. So also for you, uh, Luke, send us uh, your, uh, your, uh, an email with your uh, details. And uh, we will send you the shirt at your home address. And uh, from my side, what would be really nice, if you receive your shirt, send in a picture to us or put it on your social media. Put it on social media. On your Facebook, Instagram, uh, Zach, Predator Tour, uh, so we can check how it looks on you. Uh, another advice, don't use a green screen. That's all. Yes. Well, this uh, giveaway is, uh, is done. I think it was, uh, well... I think a success. Yes. Stay tuned in the broadcast and maybe we will come back in the afternoon for an other giveaway. So uh, if you want to have uh, maybe a shirt or something else, stay tuned, stay focused and maybe we will come back with nice giveaways. Well, for uh, the viewers, Ronnie, Jay, Christian, Erin, Andri and Luc, con big congrats. Uh, we wait for your uh, email and we will send the shirts to your home address. 
So don't forget to send us the email because uh, yeah, we need to have your address, otherwise we can't send it. Uh, so uh, yeah, we take it from there. Yeah, and, and another one. So nice to see the interaction go on right now. <laughs> Communication. Uh, share this. Share our live feed. Share it on your on your socials. Uh, take advantage of uh, a winning game, but also watch really good footage of fishing and uh, our sponsors. Yes, yes. Well, Andre uh, says, uh, "Can I take uh, send a private message?" No, you really have to send it by email because then it goes to the office. Uh, we don't uh, reply on it today for the winners, but we take it right uh, first thing in the, the morning tomorrow. So uh, for the winners of the unique jersey, send us an email with all your details about your name and address. And of course, the size of the shirt that you are uh, want. Yeah. It's the normal size. So you, when you're a uh, size uh, medium, it's, it's the medium. So uh, it, it will always fit if you give us the correct uh, size. Well, this was fun. Uh, no viewers, I think, when we go back to, uh, Life, to the, the movie. Yeah. And, uh, well, we take it from there. And uh, maybe okay. we come back later on with some more giveaways or information. Uh, yes. And I'll have an update on the leaderboard. It's now 10 past 10. Uh, we spoke to a few people now a bit about the strategies. Uh, any other fishermen now on the water? If you have the chance, I don't think you'll see this because you're fishing, but take a chance to, uh, to call in, explain what you're doing, where you are. All right, keep on hammering and keep watching. And uh, see you guys soon. Sit back and relax. And uh, we start in, uh, well, let's do, what shall we do? So we go to Sweden. Sverige. Uh, let's do that. Sweden is all, always a nice decision. Sweden will be great, I guess. Yeah. Today's the tour, 2018. Yep. Sweden, what do you think? I think it's lovely, it looks beautiful morning. Uh, we, we did six pikes today, I think it would be nice to fill up the the paper today and uh, is the total length after three days so hopefully we get six really nice fish and i had three fishing uh, last week and quite good result so we'll see don't think nobody has fished there since i was there so yeah, we get them we get them okay let's do this It's okay. Grab it. Yeah. Yeah. Long one. Yeah! Yes! Yes! It's a long one! <laughs> Directly! Damn nice. cost! It's a fucking long fish. Super! First spot. First cast. Oh, take it. Moin moin! Hey, good morning! Morgen, wie geht's da? Ja, hier. Und so ah, Echt? Echt? Ja. So, And now we have, we have the full card now. Haben Sie es schon gemessen? Nein, es ist gerade im Kescher. So, it's, it's just in the net. And uh, now we will measure it. And then, uh, yeah, take the picture to the, to the credit to your app. And, And to the leaderboard. Uh, cool. Yeah. Is your... Is your then, uh, Is your strategy working out? You think? Sorry. What is you your say? is your strategy working out at the moment? Yeah, it, yeah, it is. Yeah. So there was a plan to go to the pike water here. Yeah. And then um, to make the full card, but then we have to make the decision: should we change the water or should mm -hmm. we stay here because it's a uh, it's a very good water for pike, but not for the perch and the sander. Yeah. So it's not the really best, so it's very hard or difficult to get them here. But uh, yeah, we will measure the fish and then... Um, we'll see it on the leaderboard. Okay. And then, uh, yeah. Okay. I'm working and trying to get some upgrades. Perfect. Thanks for calling in. Really cool. Enjoy. Cheers.
but not a catch. Cool to see. Back to the movie. But it's it's a spawning bay. We had super fishing here, you know, uh, before spawning time, and now we were. I, we were not sure if they still was here, but still they are fishing. Here. Super super start. Oh, nice fish. And the new, the new hot spotted bullhead. Busted your did it again. Okay, take it out. Okay. Oof. It's a long we fish. Need to, yeah, yeah. Okay. Do the shadow. Be careful the shadow. You have it? Yeah. 113 centimeters. First stop. Good take on the new color of Buster Jerk. Hot spotted bullet. Okay, we put her back. Bye. Bye bye. Good start. Yeah. Okay, Pierre. Let's do this. Yeah. yeah we we decided uh, to start with two different baits, so we can we can figure out if if they are more on jack bait or shad. So if we get more contact on jack bait, I will switch switch with the jack bait as well. But so far, I have struck as well with the giant pig shad. And uh, I have some really good results on this on this lake with this this color uh, last year, so uh, I start with that one. And so far, a couple of casts, and I have contact, so I will keep that one for a while, and and we'll see what happens. Now, now we are in another bay, and uh, why we fish here is because we, we're thinking some, some big females still still around after spawning, and, and uh, if they are, they take instant. Uh, so, and also I have been fishing here one week ago, and, and uh, you know I know the area, so I really want to cover this 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 place's first day. And if we don't succeed, then we go out to the rocks you know, the drop off and so on and, and, and try that one. But I think in the end today, we're going to have six fishes. That's that's our plan I know, anyway. I changed now. Stefan have four pike. So far I have only two touch, but nothing uh, nothing on the rod. So now it's time to to be uh, intelligent, maybe. <laughs> Stefan get the, the fish on the hot spotted bullet. So it's like a green, a little bit of yellow. yellow. That's actually the favorite of Stefan. So I take this one, Stefan have some weight on the front. This one has the power dot, so it will be perfect. And you can see this one I've catch so many pike, so nothing to prove for that one. But maybe later when we fish deep, we're going to, to use this again, because for, for deep water it's perfect. But so far, they like the the side-to-side -side action and the rattle. They're not really feeding, it's more and more aggressive on the bait, so let's try. It's four o'clock. First day is done. And I think we did what we came for. Yeah. The first day we said we will fill the paper and we did. And actually we have a one decent fish. Yes, yeah, second cast. That was cool. Yeah. Boom. Nice fish. <laughs> Tomorrow we're going to have a, I think, new strategy for tomorrow. We forget all the small bay we've done today, because yeah. there's not so many fish. No, and but uh, I think we did right to take the base the first day. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. All yeah. the spots that, had, yeah. So. And tomorrow we, we we try maybe a little bit deeper water, something like this, and yeah. uh, try to get the, the big one. Take them on the rock. Uh, we'll take on them. The I promise you. Okay. Super. Second day of 
today to two, 2018. Uh, we have a new strategy this day. We, we're gonna fish on the drop zones quite far out for uh, catching just one or two big fishes. And uh, we're fishing lots deeper now than, than uh, yesterday. Pierre, what do you think about the weather? Yeah, I think today we have pretty nice weather. It's not so rough, so we are quite lucky because we fish uh, really out and uh, we fish between big rocks, a big drop. So hopefully we, we succeed today. We, need, we really need those two big fish today, really big fish today. So uh, yeah, it's the first few casts now. So uh, let's, let's fish and hope for the, for the big one now. Yep, today we need to switch out at least two fish. Uh, the, the top team, uh, they had some crazy fishing yesterday. Really big fish is, has been caught, and you know its average size was 109 centimeters. It's crazy. It's so big fish. So we are forced to switch two fish at least today to, to uh, have a chance. That's why we only go for one or two bites. Okay. You never know. Can be yeah, surprise. Same size. Ah, oh, smaller. Smaller. Oh yeah, yeah. That's. Uh, but it's not. You see, it's not spawned yet. This uh, one. You think? I was the smallest one we have. I don't know. But this is this is pretty small, but still 80, 83. Yeah, we have a 70, 79. 70 something. Uh, we, we take picture of that. Yeah, we take picture. Yep. Okay? Okay. Good. Start to meet some fish now. Yeah. Not so, not so big, but hopefully uh, it's bigger fish. We're back. Yeah, we choose these spots because it's just the edge of the open sea, and you know, outside here you have lots of bait fish, and uh, it's very late in the spring, so the temperature is quite high, and, and uh, I think it's good oxygen here when the wind is pushing, and yeah, we have tried some spots now when we have meat fish on every spot, so hopefully we get another big fish here soon. Yeah, yeah, fish! Again! Yeah. Good, 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 good! Big one! Yeah, yeah! Super! Come on! It's a good fish, they're strong fish. I imagine much bigger than this. Yeah. You see how they're strong? Yeah. But it's not bad. No, no, no. Yeah, it's not bad. No. And this good. fish hasn't formed. No, no. Nice. Cool, good still fish work. on the good same spot. Work. Now we... <gasps> the net. Oh. Now we have the pair. Yeah. <laughs> good. That's a nice fish. Second fish on the, the spot, same spot, after releasing the 107, few casts. You get that one, spotted bullet again, with a 7 gram and the tungsten lead just to go a little bit deeper. Yeah. So, see how long is yeah. that one? Maybe we can improve one fish. It's okay? Yeah, it's okay. Okay, you can send it. Yep. Okay. One more meat to fish for this day and I'm I'm satisfied. It's gone. Nice. Oh nice. Hey, better fish. Yep. Everybody's on 
way to life. Good, good, good. Yeah, good. It's over 90. Yeah. Yes. Fuck, that's nice. <laughs> nice bike. Yeah. Right, it's a long fish. It's good. Good, good, good. Nice take. The spot lock. Spot lock the boat. Yeah. Okay. Nice I put, I put the curl on down. Nice. Nice bike. Look how he won that one. Swallow it. That's a good feeling now. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Okay. Okay? Yeah, nice. Everything fixed. is good? Yeah. Okay. Pull it back. Nice. Cool. Whew. Nice fish. Not a monster, but it's a good size fish. Good. Yeah, today so far we, we struggle in the morning, in the afternoon we find some really nice spots. Uh, it's completely outside. And uh, the Piksha 23 uh, did the job today really, really good. We, uh, I put 7 grams on the head with a small tungsten lead and slow retrieve up to the rock in 2.5 meters. And uh, boom, a couple of fish, seven, uh, 107, sorry, uh, 90, 95 and another one a little bit smaller. So it's good, we are a little bit confident for tomorrow. Of course, we have a lot to do. We need, we need, we need four, four big fish tomorrow. So uh, tomorrow is the last day. So hopefully we meet them tomorrow, but we have a plan, so uh, it's going to be cool. Good one? Ah, it's a small one, I think. You never know. No, oh, no, no, it's no, no, it, it could be. Good one. They are quite strong here, so. Yeah. No, no, it's. I don't know. It's yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's, 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 it's a bad, better fish. Good, my friend. It's a really nice fish. Come on. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. It's a. <laughs> oh. It's oh man, look fish. Look the color of that pike. Look, now it's over a meter. Look the color. It's unreal, beautiful. Oh, oh man. One more. One more. Good job, my friend. Ooh. Good. Okay. Really good. Only two more fish over a meter, then I'm satisfied. Yeah, yeah, but we'll get them. Super strike. Super. Oh, yeah, it was a super strike. Super. <laughs> uh, really good. Oh, it's a small so one. Nice. It's a small one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, spotted bullet again. Jesus okay. Christ. Tell me your fucking long. Oh, yeah, shit. it's long fish. I need it's a, a long one. I tell you, it's a long fish. Is it it's meter? More than, it's more than 110. Oh, it's 113. Yeah. More, more. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's good? Yeah, it's good. How long? 117. Man, super. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, put you, put it in the net. I need a picture. Yeah, put of put course. it in the net. Uh, we move, I have to remove the bait first. Yeah, yeah. It's so. F it's so. I'm so glad because you know we, we, we have this spot and, and we figured it out yesterday and we were thinking uh, today we're going to get some some big fish and yeah we have just start fishing yeah it's a super fish super super fish look at the marks on a spotted bullet <laughs> <laughs> pig shad 23 centimeters on the edge 117 centimeters very fat quite heavy yeah. okay we put her back put her back we take this side or this side yeah fish fish fish, fish. get the net it's a nice one yeah 
Stefan? Ja, 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 soon. Bye bye. Grab the net, you have yeah, the I, I get it's the crazy. Net. Could be a good one. It come easy, but you know yours was the same, so. Yeah, it yeah, is. It's a big, it's big. It's a big one. It's a nice fish. Ooh, it's a nice fish. Yeah, it's what we want. Come on. Ooh. Jesus Christ! It's so strong fish! Look! Don't lose the rod, my friend! Oh. <laughs> Oof. Ooh, oh, yeah. Ooh, it's... Come on! Ooh. Yeah, 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 yeah! Oh, yes! yes. Oh. <laughs> Another one! Man, we're on fire today! Oof. Oh, man! What the fuck happened here? <laughs> You see, we just released 117 and we have another metal pack in the boat. The fight was crazy, yeah? Yeah. I don't want to give her any line, you know? Yeah. Okay, I'm it. Oh, <laughs> Look at that fish! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> that was, that was, uh, that is coming. Oh, look. <laughs> 117 again! <laughs> 118. <laughs> Holy shit, boys. Okay, we are, now we can do something now. <laughs> now we're on the game. We One more like this and we step up. We are time. in the game. It's madness. <sighs> this is crazy. It's better than anything. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. 118, 119 maybe. Okay, we take it there. It's okay. Okay? Yeah. How big? 119. Okay, we put in the net and wait to We in, take that net because you have hooks here. Yeah. When we just released the, the 117 from Stefan, uh, just for the release, I say, okay, I start casting. First cast, exactly same area, 119. So it's really big fish there. So if you're lucky, we can get maybe another one like this. And now, now we're on the game again. So it's. Uh, it's exciting, really exciting. It's crazy. We don't expect that, you know, not, not two fish like this. We're looking for metal pike, but not not two fish of a 115, like crazy. It's cool. So it's uh, it's super fish. Look at the back of that one. And spotted bullet again. This is crazy bait. Crazy. Okay, we'll put it back. Oh, look at this. Oh. Oh. Life jacket. Look at this beast. Oh, look at this, man. Wow. Yeah, ready to go soon. Uh, she gave a really good fight. She was super strong. Oh, <laughs> it's crazy. Look, she's ready. Not yet. Oh. Just make sure she's okay. Yeah, I think she's good. Yeah. Whoa. Bye bye. Wow. Super cool. Yes, we're back on the game now. Fourth position. One more fish and we can step up again. So let's do it. Okay, that's the final cast for Predator Tour 2018. It was crazy competition. We start from from nothing to, to maybe the fifth place. So it was a crazy competition. Lots of big fish and we fight to the end. So I think we're pretty happy for what we did. Really happy.
Welcome to the Berkeley Casting Lab. This is where we do all sorts of research on the action of soft baits, the action of hard baits, how to rig certain things, how to make them do different things. This is where we look at what the fish look at. This casting pool, 13 foot deep, 60 foot wide, is basically our own clear lake without fish in it. Underwater viewing area, we can go downstairs and look at the fish's perspective of how, how the baits are tuned, how they wiggle, what's the pitch, what's the yaw, how the tail's moving, anything you can think of we can look at. The fish in these aquariums tell us what they like the smell of, what they like the taste of. This is where we learn the different scents that attract fish. This oval pool is basically a, a fish racetrack where we drag lures in front of them at certain speeds and we look at what actions actually get them to strike the lure. This is our float tank. This is where we can make a bait wiggle the way it's designed to, but have it basically in a spot where we can film it, we can look at it, we can have pros look at it, where we can change things, bring it back to the float tank, and we can look at how our designs change the action of that bait. It's very useful when designing hard baits. This is one of our chemistry labs where we actually mix in the attractants and the certain scents that attract fish to bite. We put them into the baits and see what we can do. We actually build the prototype molds here as well. We can mess with different colors, different flex sizes, different dough materials. Anything you can think of about the texture of a bait, this is where we prototype it. This is our prototype Superline Lab. This is where we have our ideas for Superlines come to fruition. This is when we have all these crazy ideas and we actually try to make a couple of them and then test them and see how they work. We have several designers, some do hard baits, some do soft baits, and here's where they work in their Pro Engineering CAD system. They can pull the lines around, start messing with the shapes and sizes of baits, put on the face detail, anything you can imagine they can do on this program. In our machine shop, this is where our machinists can cut different uh, aluminum chunks and different plastic chunks and turn them into baits. This is where we build our prototype molds for both hard baits and soft baits. There's nothing that these machines can't do. We actually have a 3D printer now that gives us a lot of opportunities to create small parts for many, many things. But it gives us another tool in our process to create things that we can use to create products very fast. The Product Test Center is basically science that we've applied to bait over the last few decades, now applied to fishing line. We tear apart fishing line literally to see how it reacts to certain conditions, how it holds up to certain conditions, and what can we do to make fishing lines better. There's a lot of things about a fishing line that an angler needs to understand that's going to help them catch more fish. For example, how much memory on your monofilaments, your nylon monofilaments, your fluorocarbons, how much memory do they have when they come off a spool and how does that affect how far you cast? We actually measure stuff like that here at the Berkeley Product Test Center. We can look at how well your super line holds on to the coloration that it has on it. How many casts does it take to wear all of that stuff off? If you buy red line or you buy a green line, you want green line or red line. How fast does it come off? We can actually test that here and make our products better. We have a shock tester that literally drops line with heavy weights to see how much it can withstand. So when a fish comes up and really smokes you, can it handle that? Or a fish that's fighting right by the boat and all of a sudden takes off on a last ditch effort, we can actually measure the force a line can withstand. The tensile tester is a nice slow pull. This shows us the tensile strength of that material. How much stress and strain can it take before it actually gives up? Not only on straight tests, but also on knot tests. Which knots tie better for certain lines? That's very important to the angle. We actually have a UV machine where we can wear down products. We do it on fishing line, we can do it on baits. This is where we do some studies on different rod actions. Everyone knows that the same rod action is not the same as another one, even they may say the same thing. 
we actually build rods and try to mess with guide sizes, guide spacing, different blanks, different graphite levels, how we wrap them, to see how that changes the efficiency of that rod in terms of casting, hook setting power, and sensitivity. I want to thank you for visiting our Berkeley Fishing Lab facilities, where science meets fishing and helps us all catch more fish. Lund has a long history of building the finest fishing boats that money can buy. The emphasis has always been on fishability, providing anglers with all the tools they need to catch the diverse range of fish swimming in North Country lakes and rivers. I think we're going to have fun today, man. Wow. Now Lund has focused those same skills on producing a high-performance boat that's really dedicated to the bass angler. The challenge was to incorporate a bass fishing configuration into Lund's time-tested big water hull design. The resulting offspring of northern ingenuity and down-home castability is built to catch bass wherever they swim. The 1875 Pro-V Bass is a Pro-V with a raised deck system for ease of casting accuracy. Look closer, however, there's ever so much more. Beneath the surface, you get 18 feet, 9 inches of tough, durable aluminum hull construction that takes a beating and comes back for more. Lund's IPS2 hull gets up and running in a flash, gliding across rough water with far swifter recovery than heavier fiberglass when you're cutting across long distance in big waves. Yet at rest, it's basically the same draft as a traditional bass boat, allowing you to fish the extreme shallows with ease. Beneath the carpeting, the 1875 Pro-V Bass features complete aluminum decking, sidewalls, and structural supports provide superior strength. The Pro-V Bass comes in a choice of two configurations depending on your preference. The bench seat option provides traditional three seat orientation with angler sitting side by side. There's loads of additional storage under the triple wide seating plus a unique pop-up storage system that holds nine tackle trays beneath the deck until needed. Pedestal seating offers a large cockpit area with seating up to four anglers. Twin flip-up seats in the rear deck allow you to bring an extra buddy or two along for the ride. You get cockpit storage with handy drink holders, an integrated cooler storage, and convenient hiding place for your culling equipment. You're in control all the time, whether you're up on the front trolling motor or seated at the aerodynamic command console. At the helm, all of your gauges, switches, and electronics are close at hand. Up front, the bow command center does the same, with recessed areas for both your electronics and your foot pedal, alleviating the stress of balancing on one leg all day while running the trolling motor. Both models offer abundant storage compartments beneath your feet just about everywhere you look. Topside hatches features Lund's advanced water control system to keep your valuables and gear safe and dry, plus additional port storage for items you need to get at in a hurry. At the rear, the 28-gallon, 36-inch compartmented live well separates your catch from your fishing partners. Finally, every good angler needs plenty of rods to handle different tactics. Lund's 1875 Pro-V Bass offers a tri-level rod storage for 15 rods up to 9 feet in length, able to store even the longest musky rods on the market. After all, when you build a big water boat with enhanced castability, you know that musky anglers are going to love this boat design. Lund's 1875 Pro-V Bass, all the fish catching features that made Lund's name famous in a profile tailor-made for bass heads anywhere. Tony Roach, along with his son Robbie, went pan fishing in Lund's 1600 Rebel, which was highlighted in an episode of Lund's The Ultimate Fishing Experience Show. Uh-oh, I'm going to be need needing to know where that crappie spot's at. Good job. Hey, Dad. How much bluegills are you catching? <laughs> well, son, I wanted to put you on the fish today. 
Today we're fishing out of the Lund Rebel 1600. This is a great little boat for hopping around these small lakes. You can get into just about any body of water. What I like about this boat is there's ample bow storage. There's a massive live well up front. It's got aerator, bilge pumps. This one happens to be a side console, but it also comes in a tiller model. What's great about it is it's got some really nice rod lockers on both sides of the boat. Plenty of storage for all your tackle and gear. Compared to other small boats, you don't have to sit on bench seats. This has a really comfortable seating system, just like being in any other big Lund model. There we go, buddy. There we go, Robbie. This one's a little better. Oh yeah, I can see the orange belly. Definitely getting bigger now, buddy. Look at that one. <laughs> We're kind of having to weed through some smaller ones, but there are definitely some bigger gills in here. Get this one back in the water. I gotta get back in there before Robbie gets in there. I'm trying to catch up here. You gonna let me catch up? Okay. Hi there, Jason Free with Lund Boats. I'm standing here in the 1400 Fury SS. And if you're looking for a boat that can get you Well, back to the studio again. Uh, we just get some uh, nice footage from um, the participants. I think this is uh, a really must see. Uh, they don't uh, send it in live, but they send it in by uh, we transfer. But uh, yeah, I will show you. This is also today and uh, it's from uh, the participants. And uh, I think it's really nice footage. So they uh, sit back. And then watch this. So actually what we need is one bigger than 61. So um, yeah, but the one that we just released was uh, below that. So all good. So now we're just, just uh, trying to get one that is bigger than 61 uh, for the ranking. Um, actually there's, there's, there's a lot of, uh, Zander more than 70 on the zone at the moment, so one is coming right now. That looks good. Oh, come on. Come on. At the moment, we're <clears throat> finding pretty good fish, but the weather is uh, really bad, so. Actually, I'm sitting here in the floater and uh, he's sitting there in a shirt. I don't know, uh, crazy guy. Oh man, 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 whoa. Okay, next big one, big one. Um, big one. Show us the fish, oh man. Woo. Okay, so now we're gonna put it on the scale and whoa, man. This one is about 83, 84, 85. Woo. Big one. Whoa, crazy. Well, that was great footage. Anita. Almost, uh, almost live action. This was really caught uh, this uh, this morning. We just uh, get it in uh, by uh, by our um, uh, email. So uh, yeah, this this is the footage that uh, that we want to have. Uh, we go back to a short uh, inside movie of uh, Mercury, and after that we start up our second giveaway. So uh, don't leave the broadcast. A movie of Mercury and then we will back for another giveaway so stay tuned stay focused hello again everyone and welcome to a very special edition of the Mercury Insider we are coming to you from our global headquarters in Fond du Lac Wisconsin and our brand new assembly line right here this is where it all happens. Now, if you remember, in Miami, we had some big news for you. We told you about the 3.4 liter V6 outboards. But before we get to our big news today, 
Let's take a look back at the Miami Boat Show because remember, we had a very strong message for the marketplace. And I'll only remind you one thing today. This is only step one for 2018. So now's the time. We are excited to officially announce the all new 4.6 liter V8 outboard lineup. That includes the 250 and 300 Verado, the 250 and 300 four stroke, and the 225, 250, and 300 C Pro, as well as the 200 through 300 Pro XS, and the 3.4 liter V6 175 Pro XS. All four stroke, all setting a new benchmark in the marine industry. So what do our customers think of the new product? Let's head out to Lake X and find out. We have been waiting for this engine for two or three years now, and it has been worth the wait. Awesome. That motor is, is phenomenal. I think it's, it's game changer. Oh, it's great. I thought it was awesome. First impressions of this product are just amazing. This has been a product that I believe has been in waiting for a long time. Um, I, li I really like the, you know, the design of it. I thought that it was way faster um, compared to you know, the competitors. I thought the response was awesome. Being four stroke, uh, being very quiet, being very responsive. Now with the joysticks, everything else about it is just going to be a very positive move in the right direction. It's a lighter engine. It's got more horsepower and acceleration than I ever anticipated. Without a test drive, it, it can't do it any justice looking on the showroom floor. We are a Stingray dealer, so the boat that we took out was a Stingray 212, and usually we would order that with a 150 Mercury, um, and then or we would get a, usually a 200 Yamaha. It would be a no-brainer. Um, it would be faster than the Yamaha. It would be you know, more fuel efficient, I think, and I think the technology behind it, as long as, along with the new design, was the seller itself. This motor is going to put Mercury at the head of the outboard industry, period. There is nothing like this out there. We aren't even halfway through 2018 and already Mercury Marine is completely changing its V6 and V8 outboard platform. It's all four stroke. It's all setting a new benchmark in the marine industry. We certainly hope that these new products will help you have a banner sales year. And we thank you again for being such a trusted and valued partner to Mercury Marine. Enjoy the products and we'll see you on the water. Back in the studio again, welcome to you all. This is a new giveaway. And after the giveaway, we will uh, have a short break. Uh, not because of us, because we are still excited after three days of live broadcast. But that's uh, yeah, the, the Facebook issue that we have. We can't stream all day long, so we need to have a short break. And we will be back around the clock of one, I guess. Well, uh, later more about that. We will do a giveaway of Mercury. Mercury is our premium partner uh, in the Netherlands, the European Championship, but also our premium partner in Sweden. And uh, Mercury uh, gave us some nice things. And we will start something uh, to uh, put your keys on. This is a floater. When you drop your keys, they won't sink to the bottom, but this will float. Great help. Uh, for the ladies, uh, lipstick of Mercury when the chilly weather is coming. A nice sunglasses, a pen, and last but not least, a Mercury buff. So again, the Mercury buff, sunglasses, the Mercury pen, the floater for your keys, and lip balm. We have eight 
of those for the giveaway. We do six here in the show, but we also do a giveaway for two in our Instagram. So you can drop your comments on our Instagram, Predator Tour Instagram, but also uh, the giveaway in here. So uh, how do you uh, make a chance of winning those uh, goodies? Uh, drop your comments or reactions in the comments of this uh, live stream. And uh, we will give away a six for the most unique answers, comments or reactions. So if you want to have the buff, the sunglasses, the pen, the lip balm and the floater, give us a comment or give us a reaction and it is yours and we send it to your home address. So, uh, well, Andrew, uh, yeah. Andrew, like I said, uh, we do that uh, on week. Monday. Yeah, we are uh, busy now. Sorry. <laughs> so, uh, and, yeah. And, well, and by the way, if you go to our Instagram account, Predator Tour at Predator Tour, um, maybe share some of the pictures on your stories. Uh, it might enlarge your chance to win things uh, and more likes from your followers. Really interesting. Uh, I've got the Mercury glasses as well, and they're great. So drop a line, tell us why you want to have this, and not because you like it, because we like it too, and otherwise we'll just keep it. Tell us why you want to have this, and why it's really important to win. Go ahead, don't be afraid. There is not any response yet, but maybe it will come. Uh, for the people who don't know uh, what is a Mercury, uh, maybe we can put out a Mercury yeah, uh, show the Mercury. Uh, okay, we go to Mercury and, well, a short uh, movie, uh, who is our premium partner. And then uh, you guys uh, can uh, drop your comments and uh, get the nice goodies from our sponsor. My name is Bram Dressler from Mercury, the outboard engines. We're a proud sponsor of the, the Predator Tour because it fully fits our DNA. The reason for that is because it's all about enthusiasm and passion. And this is spread by the organization and it's spread by the members. It's spread by, by the entire atmosphere in this tournament. So therefore, we're a proud sponsor of this event. We're sponsoring the, the Predator Tour with a financial budget. It's actually an, uh, a big amount, I have to say, uh, that the best may win. Therefore, we're looking forward for, what is it, about six months. The tournament will start and uh, I'm really excited to see what will happen. Back in the studio again. Well, we have a comment, uh, Jay Nijkamp. Uh, I want to join, but I already have one. Well, it's fine by me. If you can say, uh, I think I deserve the Mercury uh, goodie as well. Well, drop your comment, Jay, and maybe you win and a shirt. And now also the, the Mercury items. So uh, surprise us. And give us in the comments why you think you will deserve uh, the, the Mercury goodies as well. And uh, we ship it to you, Jay. So uh, surprise us. For the rest, we have uh, like uh, 30 viewers uh, live as we speak. I think uh, those viewers, uh, maybe you want to have the buff of, of Mercury or sunglasses. Drop the comments. And maybe you will be the lucky winner, so to say. In the meantime, I will start up uh, a uh, new movie. Uh, it doesn't matter. You can still drop the comments. And we will come back after the movie and see if there is a lucky winner.
Back in the show again. Well, we got some crazy comments about the giveaway. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, uh, Luke Janssen comment. Yeah, it will uh, suit fine with my shirt and it protects me through the sun. Well, if you can, uh, uh, yeah, what do we Wim, what shall we do with Luke? Well, it matches with the shirt and protects me through, through the sun. Firstly, he doesn't know if it matches, but I think it matches. Um, he's doing his best to explain yeah. why he should win this. Yeah, okay. So, uh, for the, the first giveaway, it's uh, Luke. Luke Janssen, I will write it down. Janssen for the Mercury giveaway. Uh, Luke, congratulations. Go to our website www.pikemasterlures.nl. Go to the contact. There you find our email address info at pikemasterlures.nl. Send us that you are the winner of the Mercury goodie bag and we will send it to your home address. Yeah, and we've got a reply from Lukac. Lukac is met Meta Selima. Ja, ik würde mich sehr freuen über Preta Tricot. Ja, we as well. Explain why you would like to have a trico. It's not in the in the win at the moment, but you can win a <coughs> complete Mercury goodie bag yes. box. So try to explain why you would like to win this. Yeah, you you have a chance to win, uh, Lukak. Lukak is met Meta Selima, but uh, you have to just a little bit more. Why, especially you? deserve this Mercury goodie. Yeah. So uh, drop your comments and maybe you're a winner. And Jay Nijkamp. <laughs> yeah, well, this, this is a good one, Jay Creative. Nijkamp. Uh, yes, I want to join. Uh, I think the sunglasses matches with my shirt. The pencil I can use to write down my catches. Uh, the lipstick is for my daughter. Makes sense. Yeah. And it's always nice if you don't lose your keys sinking to the bottom. Well, I think that one is a is a winning uh, winning again. Winning again. You're on a winning strike. So uh, Jay, uh, you are uh, winning uh, for the second time already, Jay Nijkamp. And uh, well, for again, well, I think you have uh, already have my email info at pikemasterlures.nl, okay. and if you can't remember it because you can't write it down. You don't have the mercury pen yet, no. but go to the website www.pikemasterlures.nl and you will find our contact address. We also have a comment on our Instagram, Instagram because we will give away two uh, goodies on the Instagram as well. And it was also a nice response. I can't because this is a really long name maybe you can do it yes i i think i can do it it's san pescador de la suerte and i i think i know him good morning how are you um i can't afford my dream mercury well it's not affordable but it's really good to have a mercury this would help me dream and i'm sure my 20 horsepower mercury would feel a lot faster wearing the buff and the shades we've got another winner Yes, I will write him down. We will uh, give away uh, one on our Instagram account. So if you drop a, a comment on the Instagram, you can also win. And we still have uh, four Mercury uh, goodie bags to yeah. give away. Um, so much fun for Jay. 
the four now are for someone else. You're already on a leaderboard for uh, winning a game. So yeah, yeah. your chances your are chances. over and done. Yeah. Uh, good morning, Sjoerd. Lekker bezig, mannen. That means uh, keep up the good work. Well, thanks, Sjoerd. Thanks. We will do it. Uh, Sjoerd, maybe you will win the Mercury goodie bag. Drop it in the comments. And maybe you are a lucky winner as well. Yeah, you can do that. Yeah, you can do that. Okay, uh, for the Instagram guys, check at Predator Tour. Uh, drop a comment in the last post about the goodie bag, and maybe share this <coughs> post on your stories. We would be really grateful. Oh, <laughs> uh, and Franz Nestor is back again. He's really greedy. He's got <laughs> yeah. more stuff than, than we have, but he wants a Mercury buff. Well, well, we, we can write him down because he's he's our premium partner yeah, we have for to. Hummingbird politics and and Minkota, but but he doesn't get the the Mercury items. No. Well, Franz, we give you the chance to really win these goodies, but but yeah, we must draw one line. So, Franz, if you really want to win the, the Mercury goodies. Just drop it in the comments why you think you deserve it. I can find maybe 10 reasons, but you have to do it. Drop it in the comments. Yeah. And then maybe you're a lucky winner as well. Not the same as Jay, please. No. 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 All right, keep writing. I yes. want to make some coffee again. We love coffee here, by the yeah. way. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, I think it's uh, time for an, uh, another movie. Um, Maybe the viewers can uh, advise me what, what kind of movie uh, they want to have. Maybe we can do some... Uh, yeah, i pick this movie. And yeah. Well, I will surprise you with the movie. Uh, sit back, uh, drop. The, the goodies uh, lottery is still open. So if you want to have the Mercury goodies, more than welcome. Drop your comments and maybe you will be the lucky winner. Back in the show, guys. Back in the show. Uh, well, there are some comments. Um, the last one. Do we have a film about the Strike Pro Piglet set? Yes, of course, we have. Uh, well, in my personal uh, movies or at my uh, own YouTube channel. But I think this is not really related with the Predator Tour. So, uh, Jay, if you want to see uh, some fishing about the Strike Pro Piglet set, Go to my personal uh, YouTube channel, Evert Oosdam, and you find a lot of uh, action movies uh, about that. 
Uh, Kevin Van Thorn, uh, good luck all participants on the last day. And the last comment is Sander Wolf. Sander Wolf uh, said yes. Well, yes to you too. Well, it's still uh, some uh, giveaways. Uh, we have still one to give away on our Instagram account, Predator Tour Instagram. And we still have four giveaways on this live broadcast. What can you win for uh, viewers who ch tune in now? We have the Mercury sunglasses. We have the Mercury pencil. Lip balm. The floater, so you don't lose the keys when they drop in the water. And last but not least... The Mercury Buff, original Mercury Buff. And it's all to win if you drop a comment in this. Morning, Jeroen. Jeroen Wolst, he is in the comments as well. Jeroen is my right hand. Normally he is really active at the water as we speak. He is the leading guy at the Predator Tour on the water. Normally I'm in the background, sitting in my office and uh, doing other things. And Jeroen is at the field and controlling all the participants and also connections with Rijkswaterstaat and so on. Jeroen, it's a pity that you're not uh, in here, but uh, hopefully we see each other next year. Really missed. Um, car in the match, lekker uh, good busy at the last day. <laughs> You, you, you guys, uh, you guys look like Santa Claus with so much giveaways. Well, Karin, uh, Santa Claus, it's not legal anymore in Holland, so uh, I can't say yes, we are Santa Claus, but uh, you're right. We do a lot of giveaways. Well, okay, I want to break in. Can you connect this one to show on the link? Uh, There's a major change in the leaderboard, um, team. Number 42, the guys are hammering, well, not ha really hammering, but a lucky shot. Koen Vervloesem and Jente Herbots, this is where they were, 23 on the overall ranking. But what happened, they caught a really good perch, 46.9. What did this do to their ranking? They're now number two. This shows, last day... Last fishes, catch a bigger one, and you're up on the leaderboard from 23 to 2. I hope this will uh, show this is really fishing and not waiting. Cool, congrats, really cool to see. Back to Evert. Well, back to the show. Well, that was a surprising. Well, that, that's, that's the fun part of the Predator Tour. You need to fill up the lines, and uh, they just did. And uh, because they fill up the lines, that means they get the thousand uh, bonus points. points. Yes. So uh, they are in uh, in the uh, yeah in, in the number two place. It's yeah. uh, it's a Navionics team, so our uh, partner in Navionics uh, will be really proud and happy. Yes. So uh, yeah. And with another four and a half hours to fish, this also shows. Anything can happen on the last yeah. moments. And I put it also in my own uh, videos. And of course, uh, I fish uh, also Perch Pro. Keep on hammering, guys. Even in the last uh, cast, you can win or come from a 23 place up to the, the uh, second. second place. Yeah. Well, this is surprising. We have a caller. And who is this? Well, good morning to you all. Good morning. Moin, moin. Who are you? Who are you? Uh, Frank, just uh, flip your camera a quarter so we can see more of you. Put it in like uh, this. All of you. I'm, uh, I'm alone today. Yeah, but turn your camera a quarter. Okay. Better. Yes. Well, good morning. Yes, you're live in the show now. For As you can see, I'm on the water. My name is Frank. And um, I'm the owner of uh, Roofish Web. Uh, I'm the media partner of uh, Evert Oostdam. And uh, today I'm on the water checking the, the boats. But I don't see any boats here. 
<laughs> maybe maybe so competitors on my on my place. Maybe put on some extra glasses, Frank. What you say, Ivan? I said maybe you put on some extra glasses, you so you ah, can see them. You know more than I. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so I think there are some uh, competitors on my area. Yeah, you you sure or you know? <laughs> Uh, at the trailer ramp, it was very busy. I, I, uh, I may say that. Okay, but is it a like lot of, a lot of boats on my water? But okay. uh, I think uh, they want to uh, all get the big bikes. Okay, but is it? Uh, are they a participant or just a recreational fishermen? No, it is um, recreational fishermen. Eh? I will check. I will check here uh, my uh, my water and see uh, if I can uh, see some uh, competitors. And then I will uh, do uh, a serious boat check. Yeah, I yeah, do it. So, yeah, yeah. Well, it's yeah, because because maybe they are fishing with live bait. Eh? It's not allowed uh, with the predator to fishing with live bait. No, no. You you know it's uh, it's uh, we fish uh, by all uh, our rules in in the normal. Yes. Rules. So uh, yeah, maybe you can do some boat inspections. But Ivan, you don't can check it uh, from your office. <laughs> no, that's why I hired you to be on the water. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no problem. No problem. Good. Uh, I will check my water if I can't see any participants. Um, and then I will come back later. Yes, do that. Well, thanks for having you in the show. And hopefully I see you in the afternoon. Bye-bye. Keep on hammering. Always. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Well, that was Frank. <laughs> he or... also works in the coal mines. <laughs> <laughs> he uh, he speaks as good as English as I am. So, uh, well, that we follow the same line. And, uh, well, uh, immediately the response of Jeroen. Good, busy Frank. Yes, indeed. We all speak like uh, English. in. Uh, we say it in Holland, in, in Dutch. We say it uh, steen, kolen, Engels. But uh, I think everybody will understand us. Okay, back to the giveaway. We have still uh, four giveaways in this show, in this broadcast, and one at our Instagram account. Uh, I will put out the lines open for five minutes, for five minutes, and then we close the lines. It's not about us that we need a break or coffee, because we can do that anyhow. But it's about the streams on Facebook. And we are not allowed to stream constantly from opening a tournament until the end. So we uh, make a short break in the middle. So uh, in five minutes we stop our broadcast and we tune in like uh, around one o'clock. So uh, the lines will be open for five more minutes. And uh, if people jump in, people are watching us now, uh, drop in the comments of this live stream why you think you deserve the goodies from Mercury. And we will send it to your home address. So the only thing you have to do is drop a comment and say, I want to have this Mercury goodie because of, and you will be the lucky winner. So uh, drop in and uh, hopefully uh, you get it at your home address. Well, in the meantime, I will uh, start up the leaderboard and maybe to see if there are some changes. Uh, let's check it out, leaderboard. Well, the, there is a big change because uh, the Navionics team went all the way down to the second place. That's really surprising. Koen and Jente, they are really skilled anglers. They are always at any tournament, at least in the top 10. So those guys are really know how to fish. And uh, yeah, they are on the second place. Uh, it will be yeah, the, the, the top five, six, well the top six is really, really close and uh, I will show you on the, on the screen. 
uh, still uh, still number nine is on the lead. And the new uh, number two, Koenig Jente, team 42. We have uh, our uh, our guys from uh, Latvia, Martins and Christians. Uh, they uh, send in uh, the, the welcome uh, message this morning. Tom and Ruud, they came from third place and went to four. Uh, Harty Rice, our premium partner, Stefan and Andreas, Jan and Jelko, and number seven is Lucas and Adam. Well, if you want to see them all, just go to the web store or the Google Play store and tune in and uh, download the app. It's for free. It's sponsored by Hummingbird, Minkota and Talon. They paid for the app, so you don't have to pay anything and you can uh, get it for free on your phone. If you don't want to have it on the phone, you can also go to our uh, website www.predatortour.com and check the leaderboard. Well guys, I think I will end the stream as we speak. Uh, we have a short break and after the break we will be back. And we will be back around the clock of 1, 1, 3, 0, 0 hours and continue the last uh, episode of the Predator Tour and uh, work ourselves up to the prize giving. Uh, there are some changes going on, hopefully, but I think the top five is already known. Or Maybe there will be a surprise, but we will see that at the end of the day. Because changes can also be there at the latest costs. Oh, uh, I see a response coming in from Dennis. Dennis Fiat, I want to win the Mercury Prize because I never won a prize and I think I can use the stuff you give away. Well, Dennis, I have news for you. Uh, you mentioned you never won a prize. Well, that is over. You win a goodie bag of the Mercury. Uh, Dennis, congratulations. I will write you down as uh, now. Dennis Fiat. Dennis, go to our uh, website, www.pikemasterlures.nl. Go to the contact. There you will find the email address, info at pikemasterlures.nl and send us that you are the winner of the Mercury goodie bag and we send it to your home address. Well guys, thanks for now, thanks for watching and we will be back around one o'clock for the latest live stream of this Predator Tour 2020 event. Thanks for now, Jeroen, Speter and uh, we will see each other live at one o'clock and remember guys be the best catch the biggest <laughs>